All right. So when we last ended, we uh we went to uh we went to Damien's house to a barbecue. We pissed off his family. Uh we got dunked in the pool and then we went home. <laughs> I think we got a little closer to Olivia though. So uh we'll we'll see how we who is collectively Inco does now that I'm past the demo. Apparently this is the real shit now, guys. That's what all the Snoot game fans keep telling me. All right, I have to make sure I gotta get some more water here so I can get my Inco voice ready. <laughs> I had a spurt moment that I went home. Wait, let me scroll back a little bit. What happened? Oh, right. No, we had a we had a doodle fight back and forth. What just shit happened? Okay. <clears throat> Am I winning? Is that what you're asking, Jaden? And am I winning? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm back on the train. That's all we know. I have, I have a, I have a bad memory like Inco. I'm probably missing fifty percent of my brain as well. Um, dot dot dot. It's a good way to get into his voice. All the same people. Another day, another dollar. Except I don't get paid to go to school. So what the fuck am I talking about? Wait, did I? Oh, I think I, I think I loaded the wrong save. Oh, I totally did. That was a February save. I'm fucking retarded. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I was starting the game over by accident. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, now we're in the game. September 25th. Yes, I remember this now. It's been nearly a full month and things are starting to feel natural in school now. In dinosaur school. Well, at least compared to my old schools, except now they've a I've actually made some good friends. Pretty sure we're friends anyway. I don't really know how to measure friendship. I'm very, very socially inept. Outside of that party a few days ago, I haven't hung out with any of them outside of school. <laughs> and I got invited by accident because Damien took pity on me. <laughs> if friends just hung out at school and good friends did stuff outside of school, where does that put us? I need to min-max friendship! Dot dot dot. He is very autistic, I think. Well, it's still early in the school year. That's right. It's only like a. It's only a month into the school year, so you got time. You got time to learn to socialize, Inko. I believe in you. <laughs> I don't really believe in him. Oh wait, I just remembered. I just remembered. I forgot. I was gonna start the stream with something. Derp de do. So remember, uh, last time when uh when uh I think in part two when Inko was staring at Olivia in class, and he was like, "How could she tell I'm staring with my my shades on and the dim light and." I said, like, he was probably, like, sitting three inches from her face, just, like, very inconspicuously staring at her. So Kaiser drew that. <laughs> I just wanted to show everybody that Kaiser drew that. That's the guy who sent me the game to begin with. He's just staring. Staring very subtly! <laughs> I love it. It's great. <laughs> anyway, go, go favorite it on Twitter. If you use if you use the twatter, the zitter, the uh whatever you want to call it, the dead bird app. <laughs> he ha he has a mouth sometimes. <laughs> Inko's facial features are very um very unpredictable. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll figure out the friendship conversion rate at some point. <laughs> God, you aren't honest. Jesus Christ. It's not like I'm rushing either. Even though I made friends on the first day. Shades! Focus! I get to be early Ermi again. Leaving my current thoughts, I realize I have been in the middle of climbing a rock wall in the gymnasium. <laughs> oh, Inko. Uh, why was I spacing out again? I was inner monologuing! Oh. Oh, it's upside down. How did I get all the way up there? Oh, right! All the blood rushing to my head! I don't. I don't think you were on the rock climbing wall, Inko. I don't know what the fuck you were doing. All right, peel yourself off my majestic gym floor and hit the showers. Hello, <laughs> I am freshly showered. Made it just in time. I take my seat right next to Olivia. Let myself relax for a second. I hope she likes the two cans of Axe body spray I have put on myself. <laughs> Olivia, as usual, is doodling away at her notebook. 
I take a quick peek at her new work, curious to see who she's trying to turn into a caricature today. Instead, the page is filled with various scribbles of what looks to be a rat. Again. What is her deal with rats? The only piece of shading for its fur is just on its head, save for a white spot around its white eye. It looks like the same one she doodled on the note we passed around in history class. The Murrid mural shows it... <laughs> shows it in various poses and scenarios, some basic and some pretty creative. There's even one wearing a cape and wielding a ridiculously giant sewing, sewing needle like a sword. Ooh. Those rat doodles of yours are pretty cute! Thanks. Actually, that reminds me. Look who else I drew over the weekend. She flips a couple of pages of our sketchbook and holds it up for me to see. Yeah, Olivia now just has, like, Jasper's voice only a little, like, higher and a little nicer. <laughs> this is what I'm going with. It's easier for me to switch into. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, alligators would eat rats, wouldn't they? I mean, alligators would eat fucking anything, really. Uh, much to my surprise, it's none other than Mia! Oh yeah, that bitch who knocked me off the first day of school! Olivia decided to draw her as what I can only describe as the most flattering of ways as a druggy harlot. <laughs> her clothes are even more ripped than her usual attire, her jacket is filled with all kinds of unflattering patches, and her hair is styled into a gaudy mohawk that only detracts slightly from her face full of piercings and rings. <laughs> In fact, she has a couple of rings piercing her eyelids to the point that... <laughs> That I think it would be impossible to keep her eyes open from their weight. It's a drawing, son. It's a draw. <laughs> Don't take it so literally. Ugh. And that's not even getting into all the tattoos that Olivia has drawn on Mia's face. Is this just, I don't know. I can't help but let out a snicker at the sight. Ha <laughs> ha! How ridiculous. Sensible chuckle. You like? She's sporting a smug grin as she looks my way. I mean, it's funny. But how can she even breathe with all those nose rings? She doesn't need to. She's full of hot air already. The girl chuckles at her own joke. She's so beautiful. I bet if she saw it, steam would blow out her ears. Do they have ears, though? Do they, or do they just have, like, hearing holes? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I, God damn it, I hit... Right, I, I can just use the keyboard. I gotta keep my hands off the mouse. <laughs> keep having this problem. Yeah, she'd stomp around uselessly and then do nothing else. Seems like you have a pretty good idea of how she works. Are, is there ex are you ex-friends? Is there drama here as well? I keep I keep stepping right into drama and putting my big stupid head in it. <laughs> She's just predictable. It's not rocket science. Oh, it's Valley Girl. Oh god, what the fuck did the other girl's voice sound like again? <laughs> I never expected to see her again. Oh no! We're interrupted by a pair of students. I recognize them, though I only know one of them by name. Uh, I think, I don't know, she was just like, Yurinka, my homie! I saw what you submitted for the contest, and I just love it! It was so good, I had to show it to my friend! They're like two different variations of Valley Girl. It's fine. Yeah, man, I just had to come see who made it when Nulara told me about it. And when she told me, I was like, oh my god. I just knew it was you. You had to be that artistic spirit. Pretty damn fantastic, especially for a newbie. <clears throat> I'm a bit taken aback by her backhanded compliment. <laughs> Still, it is a compliment. It's the first real one I've heard since coming to St. Hammond. Most people just call me stupid and call me skinny. <laughs> yeah, the blonde one's Valley Valley Girl. <laughs> About my art, I mean. Oh my gosh, I never introduced myself, did I? I just like took a selfie with you and put it all over Instagram with like my 80 million followers. <laughs> I'm Kiara. Nice to meet you. Yes, likewise. Cool. I mean, it's not that great of a piece. It's just something I had on hand. Last minute. Damn, you're selling yourself way too short there. Yeah, your work is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm thinking we should hang out sometime. Oh, you slut. Stop trying to get into his pants. Oh, shit. The bell's ringing soon. Already? Damn. Well, it was nice seeing you again, Inko. Keep up the good work. Be seeing you later. Yeah, I'll be seeing you real soon, Inko. Well, Skinny's not a comic because they're, they're, they're calling him just, like, human skin. He's, you know, he doesn't have scales. He's a skinny. <laughs> right? What the fuck are those two voices I was just doing? <laughs> I can't but help smile at my new friends! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point! 
Wave their goodbye and depart. Yeah, okay, you just... <laughs> you really think they want to be your friends and don't just want to, like, use you for clout? A heady feeling of joy watching through my head as I replay their words of praise repeatedly. I'll make them my friends. Screw Ben and Damien and Olivia. They suck. <laughs> In the corner of my eye, Olivia's smile reflects the overwhelming cheer I'm feeling. She's actually happy for me. Though it seems to vanish the moment I look her way. <clears throat> it's not like I like you or anything, Babaka. <laughs> seems like you're becoming the talk of the school. I mean, I hoped that I'd get some positive feedback about my work, but I didn't realize it would be that good. Two bimbos said it was, like, like impressive. I, I, I will be riding this high for weeks. <laughs> Olivia chews her lip in contemplation before turning to me. Say, Inko, can I see your submission? Sure, give me a second. Luckily, I'm prepared, as not only do I have my portfolio drive, because I'm a photographer, bro, I bring my portfolio everywhere, <laughs> but finally set up a cloud drive for... <laughs> oh... <clears throat> as simple as opening up the application on my phone and swiping to the exact digital copy to present it to Olivia. Do you really just call an app an application? I mean, yeah, that's what app is short for, but like, God, you're such a nerd. <laughs> Again, I think I really did pick the right voice. <laughs> Excuse me. Ta-da! Consider it my magnum opus! Magnum Opus! I finally got to say it! <laughs> you keep a copy of it on your phone? I got my whole portfolio in cloud storage! <laughs> I learned it was good practice from a couple of artist blogs! <laughs> I'm a tech bro too, Olivia! Aren't I attractive? <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, oh, you're a photographer, huh? Yeah, you just you just point and click. You just point and click with that thing. You don't actually put any effort into it. You just snap photos. I don't respect photography. This can never work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If she does say that, I'm gonna like. Uh, <laughs> Olivia squints at my phone as she does her best to formulate her opinion. It's uh, nice. Or well, maybe she really doesn't like photography. No, their love can never be. <laughs> The compost of it is really something. Did you mean composition? <laughs> or did he take a photo of compost? Again, I would not be surprised with Inko. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Olivia, I'm turning all of my photos into NFTs. It's really gonna take off. <laughs> she realizes she needs to break up with him. Olivia, I spent $10,000 on a monkey! <laughs> oh, she did say compost by accident. Okay, you mean composition? I'm going to mansplain to you now! <laughs> yeah, that. You did great, Inko. Huh, getting a compliment from Olivia for my work feels a bit alien to me. I am, I am scared. <laughs> I only like when she abuses me. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, that was the start of something new. Yeah, I can almost feel it now. I want to hug that gator. Oh, well, now we're going to see, okay, we're going to see the real spelling of his name. Inko G. Nito, ace photographer, capable of capturing masterpieces through a photo lens. Yeah, that has a nice ring to it. No, it doesn't. Olivia must see my self-congratulatory grin because her own dropped. She realizes I'm being a douchebag. All right, you did good. Don't let it go to your head. When the grin remains, she forces it off by elbowing me in the chest. Ow! <laughs> ah! Warned you. She's so sundry. That's going to leave a bruise. Maybe a broken rib as well. With that exchange behind us, Olivia and I get ready for class. Oh dear. As was the norm by now, Mr. Eideken begins class with some violent abuse of school property. <laughs> I think he day drinks, I don't know. Good morning, good morning. Now settle down, we have announcements to go over. I sit back in my seat, suddenly feeling the, out the spot where Olivia smacked, smacked me to check. Yep, bruised. Sheesh. I must bruise very quickly because I'm so fucking white. 
As the pale pterodon continued on reading for the announcement sheet, like lost that sentence, like he's lost in his thoughts. Nothing else really happens that I'd consider out of the ordinary. Things are big. Blah, blah, blah. Not important. Not gonna read it. <laughs> dot dot dot. Yay! You want to check to see what I streamed? I already am. Hooray! Yeah, we were just talking about how uh, some people might be a little confused because America just had daylight savings time. Not my fault. I don't like it either. I just I forgot already that it happened. Yay! Thank you for the five dollar goods. Uh, yeah. Crocodile, crocodile, crocodile. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Yes, we were having gator time. I told you guys, you can still at least interrupt things with uh, with uh, super chats. Next week, when we're back on the art stream, I will let you throw tomatoes again, especially since we will be uh, we will be talking about Lily Orchard. Ah, oh, Kaiser, you're late. Why are you late, Kaiser? I showed everybody your art. See. <laughs> And I might, uh, I might be featuring it in a short tomorrow, so I'll send you that when it goes up. <laughs> anyway. Let's see, let's see, where the fuck were we after all that? <laughs> <clears throat> Later at lunch, I'm rattling off my best stand-up to Olivia while Damien's out getting sick until that poor girl, <laughs> that poor girl having to pretend to laugh at me. <laughs> Liz had retreated to her usual space in the rafters. And then he says, Oh, goddamn! <laughs> Olivia's hand flies to her nose, trying and failing to contain the snort filled laughter. <laughs> wow, a girl actually laughs at my jokes! I might have a chance here! <laughs> it says of a chain reaction as my own laughter spills over my mouthful of cheap school burger. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he actually, like, got in line for lunch for once instead of fucking, like, getting chips and soda from the fucking vending machine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, we were just fucking talking about daylight savings time. Look, I don't like daylight savings time. I can't control it, though. <laughs> time is an illusion. Anyway. God, you suck at comedy, Inko. I am laughing at you, not with you. Your jokes are terrible. I am, I am laughing because you're just so fucking awful. <laughs> Olivia drinks greedily from her canteen of rum to alleviate her sore vocal cords. Is that why you're all out of breath? You're breathless at how stupid I am? It was a pity laugh. Why can't I move the sun? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you should expect it of me. Stick to photography. It's like literally your one skill, bro. <laughs> you got a better one! The mood is slow to settle, but once Olivia has caught her breath, she speaks with a snide smile. In fact, I do. I'm gonna tell a racist human joke. <laughs> if she does, I'm gonna laugh. Alright. So, a Triceratops, a T-Rex, and a Rhino-Rex find a lamp. Her mouth clamps shut and her eyes go wide. A lip? Ah, perfect. I was looking for you, too. Olivia casts her eyes down to her lunch. Fearing her mystery meat roughly with a talon. Was was she telling a racist joke? Actually? <clears throat> Maybe I should blow up the moon like Piccolo. That'll solve a lot of problems. <laughs> hey, Ben, what's up? Why have you made my potential girlfriend sad? I figured I'd come by and congratulate you on your submission entry. This again? I mean, it is my best piece, but all the praise for it is still surprising, and, and the audience has not been allowed to see it. We just have to, we just have to piss on the moon like Dr. Eggman, yeah. We just have, we just have to believe that Inko's picture is really, really good. We're not going to show you anything, though. It's exhilarating, all these compliments and everything. I've never been complimented in my life. Thanks, man. Hey, maybe I'll be the winner of the contest. What do you think, Olivia? I can't read the room. The green gator girl flinches. Ben shakes his head. Also, Olivia, great to catch you here. Let's <laughs> keep making him sound more and more like passive aggressive. <laughs> Principal Scaler wanted me to remind you that you need to clean up after yourself. 
Leaving messes in classes can disrupt students in other periods. Skiller said that. Why not tell Olivia herself? It's almost like you're a little mama's boy. Like the principal is secretly your mom. Is that it, Ben? Are you a little mama's boy, Ben? <laughs> She's busy, and I'm tired of reminding you. Olivia scuffs at the mention of our principal, yet keeps her mouth firmly closed. Must not be that important, then. Like you, Ben, not very important at all. Inko, I just spent my entire second period cleaning up her mess because she's not taking anything seriously. Well, what the fuck kind of mess did she make? Like, <laughs> paint? Or did she just trash her room? What, what happened? I'm not supposed to be Scaler's errand boy. I'm certainly not supposed to be a personal janitor. Well, you know, but I, I, I still think the, the principal's your mom secretly. You got something going on with her otherwise. <clears throat> she make an ass of myself saying things. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm left to frown at Olivia, giving Ben the silent treatment. I have no idea what's going on. Was it wrong of me to think she'd be more open with everyone else like she is with me? Probably. Do you know how hard it is to scrub baking soda out from the carpet once it's dried? <clears throat> Can you just try not to make other people's lives harder? God damn- What the fuck, Ben? <laughs> I heard chill, Ben! <laughs> exactly. Ben, what the hell? I'm going to be chivalrous and stand up for her! I will stand up for the lady's honor! I, I didn't mean that. I went too far. Sorry. I'm just a bit of a little bitch. <laughs> Olivia, try shooting me. An indifferent gaze. <laughs> she fails to be indifferent, I guess? It cracks into a bit of embarrassment when I don't return it. Ben's comment is completely uncalled for. I can't just stand around if she's not even going to defend herself. Come on, Ben, leave her alone. <clears throat> My point being, Olivia, this is completely ridiculous. <clears throat> I expect better from you. What are you, her mom? <laughs> expect? How could you have expectations for her? She's completely useless, Ben. Look at her. <laughs> That came out a little wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I expect her to do the bare minimum and not waste my time. You could have called the janitor, dipshit. You guys must have one. Inko challenges Ben to an honor duel. 1800s wedding. <laughs> now he just do it anyway because he's probably a weave or something. Olivia doesn't even bother looking at Ben and says she's looking at me with that sad face until she quietly wheels away from us. Oh, way to kill the vibe, Ben! I was rizzing her up! <clears throat> I think I went a little too far there by kind of calling her useless by accident. Man. What do you, what do you mean, man? What do you mean, man? You're the one who came over here and started shit, Ben! <clears throat> ben, I thought you were a bro, Ben! He pinches his brow and sighs. I'm and left standing there with the student council president. I wonder what had uh, had done to earn me Olivia's ire just now. <laughs> Probably hanging out with him. That bad? Mia really wanted me to have lunch with her today. She's definitely gonna give me an earful after school. Who the fuck cares, Ben? <laughs> he glances at his phone and grimaces at the notifications. Spoke too soon. She's giving me one now. <clears throat> well, you should probably grab your lunch while there's still time. Before the feeding frenzy starts. Ben glances up at one of the clocks in the lunchroom. So there's only about ten minutes of lunch left. Bah, you're right. But the lines usually close five minutes ago. It's Fitz hammers his palm in an epiphany. He's a fucking weeb. Wait a minute, are you on a con? Ben, are you on a con? <laughs> I just noticed right now, Ben, are you on a con? <laughs> I should put you in a locker. <clears throat> Oh, you use the vending machines out there. Anything good? I've been enjoying the Atomic Hot Taquitos recently. <laughs> I have to say, the entire name plus trademark. <clears throat> but Damien tells me he's a bigger fan of the Bitter Melon Bites. Bitter, bitter Melon it is, then. I trust Damien way more than I trust you. I don't think my tail could handle that amount of, uh, cap 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 whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Ben gets up from his seat. All right, I'll go check it out. Let's sit. One of his feet gets caught on the stool. He stumbles head first. Oh, God, is Ben about to die? It's just like one of my Japanese animes. <coughs> I should better be you, bro. You look like a 12-year-old rich kid who plays chess instead of studying SCFU. You're right. Fuck Ben. I don't like Ben anymore. Oh, Damien. 
<laughs> right into Damien's train. Stack high with mystery mate. No, maybe these two will get together. <laughs> Eat shit, Ben. He face plants right through that tray and into the floor. On the bright side, the mystery meat cushions his fall. <laughs> on the dark side, the mystery meat cushions his fall. <laughs> He's stuck on a pile of meat now. Whoa, Ben, you all right? I jumped from my seat to go help him up. <laughs> Did he actually die? <laughs> okay, I guess that. He's fine. Instinctively, I look around at the cafeteria. All eyes are on us. I already hear it starting. Oh, no, we're, there's got to be rumors. Various murmurs about the safety of the student council president. Murmurs about it start breaking into jeers. Am I going to get blamed for this? I know how this song and dance goes. It's over for Ben. Ben, you are you you are social toxin now, Ben. I must I must disavow you and stay far away from you. There's gonna be TikTok compilations of you falling on your ass, Ben. It was nice knowing you, Ben. Ben trips and accidentally grabs a woman's woman's breast. He fucking wishes. Uh, gets up and dusts off his blazer. Not exactly what I meant when I said meet and greet, Damien. Laugh track. Put a laugh track in somebody in your head. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. All of a sudden, the entire attitude of the cafeteria shifted before my eyes. They're very good at socializing. <laughs> the cheers were deflected into a general amusement that permeated throughout the room. One of the nearby students stands up and hands him a few napkins to wipe his face off. Hey, thanks. How does he manage to stay composed while covered in school mystery meat? <laughs> I'm both impressed and jealous. Is it mystery meat because it was made of other dinosaurs? Probably. You okay? I thought you couldn't eat meat. Yeah, your face went right into it, Ben. Just all just all up in there. <laughs> nah, even if I swallowed any, it'd take a lot more than that to really be an issue. I'll be fine. Thanks for the concern, though. Even as he brushes off the love lunchroom grime, Ben carries himself with dignity. The mystery meat is made of people. Dino people. Maybe he's made of humans. Who knows? If that had been me... This guy has some seriously quick wit. If that had been me, I would have just had to change schools again. It would have been so jover. <laughs> no, there's probably a little more to it than that. Man, I was looking forward to eating that. Damien, you cannot tell me you wouldn't eat just meat off the floor, Damien. Do not lie to me, Damien. <laughs> Why on earth did you even have that much meatloaf? I asked the cafeteria lady earlier this morning to let me have the leftovers. Although now it's gone a bit to waste. He eyes the remains on the floor. Some poor janitor's going to have to mop all that up. So how come you're not reaming his ass like you reamed Olivia's, Ben? For making a mess. You you contributed to this. <laughs> Wait, his name is Ben and he's nasally annoying. You sure this is Ben Shapiro? Damn it! Should have done a Ben Shapiro voice for, for Ben. I, I, like, I like my nerd voice better, though. And again, the more exaggerated I do accents and things, the better you can tell it's actually supposed to be a different character and not just me at slightly different pitches. <laughs> Maybe. Don't even think about it. The bell is signaling to our next class. The fist fights and gang wars cease on command and everyone starts milling toward the exits. Ben doesn't ream people's ass. Mia reams his ass. You know, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Avoid getting pegged. <laughs> the cafeteria empty, sir. What I can clearly see the Ben shaped meatloaf angel on the floor. It's a familiar rubbery and textured feeling on my fingertips. My instincts had kicked in, my hands going for my camera to capture the moment. After which, a sense of shame rolls over me. That I would even consider capturing something like this, especially when it's happening to my friend. But it's just the, it's just the meat angel that he left behind. Why would that, like, shame him? I get up from my seat with a heavy sigh and finally head for next class. I hope Ben will have the time to clean up before photography. He's got five minutes. He's gonna jump in the fountain out front. Foreshadowing? Really? Oh. Dot, dot, dot. I am blind, you guys, just remember. So don't spoil things, but you can tease me. You can tease me if you want. Uh, so, and you can try to, you can try to push me in the wrong direction. I don't mind, but just don't outright spoil things for everybody's fun. <laughs> On my way to photography, I'm so caught up by what had just happened. 
I'm starting to see how Ben accomplished that. I mean, ordinarily, an incident that embarrassing would just be detrimental to your social standing, like me getting hit by a dodgeball in the head the first day of school. <laughs> I'm a social parasite now. <laughs> uh, my first day, I went through something like that. An event so humiliating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was just fucking saying. Sure, they did out pretty quick, but the fact is, it happened. One moment, everything is fine, and then suddenly something you couldn't have even seen coming just upends your life. My entire life is upended by being hit in the head like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Stuff like that can happen all the time, and to anyone. What, if you want to push me in the right direction? Yeah, you can. If you guys are like, if I'm about to like make a huge mistake, you guys don't want me to, like, you can warn me. Like, yeah. Like, if it's if it's like a cho in the choice moment, and you're like, no, Sai, do the right thing. Fine, but. <laughs> Otherwise, don't spoil shit. If I, and if I, if I ask for help, I'll ask for help, but yeah. Uh, that's, usually my, that's usually my rule on games. But if I ask for help, you can help me. <laughs> Next pick choice is easy, okay. It's something that's always terrified me. It's something that just happened to Ben only. Ben isn't a loser like me! What if chat pushes me to the worst ending? I mean, you guys could try. I mean, you guys have to conspire with each other, though. <laughs> he was exempt. He was quick on his feet and diffused the situation faster than it could have really started. It's almost like he's socially competent. Something I'll never know. It's like disaster avoidance. It's like PR. Oh god, he's a marketing man. I seriously think the most important skill one can have. Yeah, kind of, actually. To have everything under control, to see you trouble from a mile away and make it a non-issue even when it takes you by surprise. Yeah, I mean, leading people in the conclusion you want is a, is, a, is a skill to have, though that does make Ben a little, a little Machiavellian. <laughs> is the music turned off? Let me check. Oh. Oh, it's not picking up the game audio for some reason. Even though I, I've told it to. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. I had to just, like, reset. I had to just, like, reset the audio. You guys haven't been So you guys have been hearing the music this whole time. You've just been hearing dead silence with me doing, doing my stupid Inco voice. <laughs> You think you own the game? I don't own the game. Kaiser bought it and sent it to me. <laughs> That's why I'm streaming it. <laughs> I always feel obligated to, to play games, to stream games, and people buy them for me, but we, we had fun with the first time, so we're just gonna finish this, because it's, it's been very it's been very fun and cute. <clears throat> and it's fun to play with an audience. Anyway. <laughs> that sort of social capital is something I need. How do I achieve this? I've been looking at these videos by this guy called Andrew Tate. <laughs> Maybe it's a little selfish, but if we were seen that way, then any sudden happenings would be forgiven instantly. That's what I need. I need lack of consequences. Of course, Ben isn't alone. The world is full of people with that skill. Only I'd be lying if I said most of them deserved it. <laughs> you thought the theme of art and motivation would appeal to me? I end up loving the writing. I do like the writing. It's funny. <laughs> It's, like, legitimately funny. <laughs> Most people are able to get away with that stuff and use a unique Billy like that. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay, Inko. Inko. God, for God's sakes, please. Please continue the story, Inko. That's my ultimate goal, to be completely socially... Uh, socially competent and, and unassailable. Clearly that will happen to me one day. I am Inko. Ben is one of the good ones. Definitely. Definitely one of the good ones. I always have a very good judge of character and what is going on as Inko. Absolutely, Ben is not secretly a little baby back bitch. Totally. <laughs> it's not like I gift you the game because I like you or anything, I idiot, says Kaiser. <laughs> no, I do thank you, Kaiser. <laughs> this has been very fun. Definitely earned my respect over this. The question remains, though. How do I get like that? How do I become as cool as Ben? <laughs> Jesus. You're hopeless, Inko. <laughs> that line of thinking gets cut off as I round the next corner. Oh, sorry, I think I have Mia's uh, fucking Boston. Wanna talk with you, Olivia? That was kind of my Valley Girl voice. I need to, like, get into it. 
At the center of the hallway intersection, I see Mia and Olivia. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, my two rival girls! Dot, dot, dot! Are they being... Are they bullying her? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come the fuck on now, Olivia. Don't be such a killjoy. I'm trying to be nice here. The grin on Mia's face is jovial as she stands before the wheelchair-bound girl, her tail lazily swaying as she eyes Olivia. Man, I never realized how lethal those spikes on her tail look. Yeah, you forgot she had that, like, fuck-ass hairdo. The, like, the bitch bangs. Like, anybody with that hairstyle, you just know she's probably a cunt. <laughs> Hello! Hey, hey, Shashir. Welcome. Welcome to my, my Wani playthrough. This is the fourth one, so I do have others in my live. We'll probably do a highlight reel at some point, because I, I keep interrupting myself like this. Um... After all, have to be nice to someone as talented as Livia, don't I? Behind her are a pair of similarly smiling Saurian girls. Are those the two- is that the two valley girls? Is this the mean girls? Do they wear pink on Wednesdays? You can't just ask people why they're white. <laughs> you love this game? Awesome. Welcome. I've been having a good time with it. I, I've been having more fun with it than I expected to. <laughs> and I've done stupid voices for all the characters. Actually, wait a minute. Those two, dot dot dot. I thought they were my friends, but they're Mia's friends, and they're all being bitchy. I mean, she knows her way around a palette and canvas. Right, Livia? A paraplegic Picasso there. She's not- wait. <laughs> wait, no, yeah, par- mm. Her upper legs still work, though. I thought there was another word for that. <laughs> Whatever. That's you, right? I can't imagine how useless you must feel otherwise. I'm so glad you're able to put those thoughts aside and paint something you like. Mia takes a step toward Olivia, her previous expression taking on more ominous air. Yet for all that talent and untapped potential, you seem to lack the basics of expect expected of a functioning young adult. Cause I'm really talking like a fucking teenager right now with that kind of fucking sentence structure. <laughs> Mia's lips part, really got cruel grin. I hear you've been a really dirty, messy little baby, leaving your stuff everywhere in class and getting it all over the place. They should stick you in a cute little bib. Yara and Lunara laugh, jeering loudly at Olivia. That wasn't even funny! <laughs> Paraplegia means two limbs don't work. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just dumb. Alright. <laughs> Mia snaps her finger, causing the two of them to go quiet. Now she's queen bitch! <laughs> I still don't want to believe it. How could these girls all be mean? Those two. They were so nice to me. What are they doing with Mia? They, they were totally, absolutely sincere! <laughs> I just believe everyone is sincere, because I am Inko! I am exactly what I am on the surface! I know them! They're smart! Are they? They know if this is what it looks like, it's horrible! They're not the kind of people to punch down like this! Are you sure, Inko? Are you sure? They look like every fucking sorority girl. <laughs> well, they all decided to do this, right? So what's going on? Is there more to this situation? I don't think there's more to the situation of the mean girl crowd bullying the chick in a wheelchair, bro. <laughs> Inko is definitely autism. That's why I'm like, I was like, I'm so happy I went with this voice. And I keep, I keep making him even more like, just, just flat and stunted as I, <laughs> as I go. <laughs> uh, Mia takes another step forward. Her finger is now looming over Olivia as she looks down with a cruel sneer on her lips. Normally, I wouldn't waste my time trying to single you out, but I'm gonna use this moment to make you get the picture. Benny was supposed to join me for lunch, but he had to stay behind to clean up after your mess. Even though he's not like the fucking janitor or anything, he's just like the student council president and the, and the principal's son, probably. I don't know why the fuck he does this shit. <laughs> but instead of being mad at him, I'm gonna be mad at you. A bullying in today's cancel culture world, what year does this take in? This could be the early 2000s for all we know. Yeah. You got your issues? You can't ride a bike. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I think that- I don't- Why is that what you focus on? I, I think I did pick the right voice for Mia, too. <laughs> Set in 2023? Okay. That's your fucking problem. Stop 
not making it mine, Livia. I asked before, did, 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 did Mia have some reason to do why, why she's in a wheelchair? Did she push her in front of a train or something? <laughs> or was she always in one? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I can't ride a bike either. That's also the tism. I nearly killed myself on a bike many times as a child. It was literally those comics of Calvin learning to ride a bike. That was my childhood. So I just kind of gave up after a while. <laughs> I managed to hit a parked car on a bike once. <laughs> anyway. Or do I need to stop being a problem for you? Yeah, does Ben look like your nanny? Well, she does come pre-packaged with a stroller. God, you are so unfunny. These insults are so lame, Mia. Come on, Mia, that's crossing a line. Is it? <laughs> it's not like she can stand up to you or anyone. Oh, 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 oh. Livy was born that way? Okay. What? I'm just chatting it up with Liv here. But if I hurt, did hurt your feelings, I'm wee 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 sure we. Are you in fucking junior high? Like, by high school you would think you wouldn't be making fun of kids in wheelchairs anymore. Like, by that point you usually, most people are mature enough to realize that's a stupid thing to do. Like, when you're eight, when you're eight and your brain hasn't really formed yet, yeah, you might do this kind of shit. But, like, c come on. <laughs> like, you're like, you're like 17. <laughs> What is your problem? <laughs> okay, yeah, American boys can be like this, but like, not like at the end of high school. Like, by the time you're in senior year, nobody gives a fuck about anything anymore. <laughs> at least that was my experience. <laughs> Yara's beak clicks loudly and repetitively while Lenara's hand covers her maw to hide a giggle. <laughs> That's how they laugh. Yeah, when you when you teenager, you insult their mother. Get in the we get in the times, Mia. Olivia just call her mother a slut. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, don't take it personally, Olivia. I'm just teasing ya. Yeah, that's not teasing. Teasing is when everybody is laughing and having a good time and is in, is involved and is uh, consenting to the jokes being made. Uh, so obviously, I like to give people shit a lot, and I do. But you guys all give me shit back. This is how we operate here. <laughs> it's mutual. <laughs> so versus hundred percent Livia would be eligible for almost four K monthly payment if the VA doesn't doesn't fight them on it. What? <laughs> How do I know so much about bullying? <laughs> I might have been bullied a lot in, in elementary school. <laughs> anyway, right Liv? We're all just one big happy family here. How I mean, how do you guys know each other? You used to be friends, probably, with your kids. Lord knows some of us could use one. Dot, dot, dot. Why am I just letting this happen? I stood up to Ben for less than this. I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. I want to hear both sides of the story here. What history me and Olivia have for a confrontation like this? I think she's just a bitch. I think getting this upset over her missing lunch with Ben is extreme, but Mia's friends remain by her side. Completely steadfast against Olivia. Is that bad? And yet Olivia says nothing to her. She has her head atop the knuckles her knuckles of her hand like I like I would during Brooklyn's history lessons. We're not showing that though. There were moments where Olivia's tail would press into the floor, shifting her chair back or to the side. It looks like she was attempting to sidestep the conversation with that muscular tail, but Mia's own movements cut her off her escape attempt. Mia returns to the cop stare. There's no motion. But getting a staring contest was was a fight in its own way, and it looks like the first to look away would lose. Olivia's frigid indifference against Mia's piercing, piercing gaze. I can't read very well. Yara ends up dropping her phone and both glare at her simultaneously. <laughs> a draw. Kiara, I swear I will kill you one of these days. Do we do that in this world? Do we, do we kill, each, kill and eat each other? Is it like dinosaurs, the sitcom? Somebody tell me. <laughs> Olivia takes the opportunity to move past Mia. Bye. <laughs> Mia takes no time to toughen her stance and continue her spew of insults. What? Leaving so soon? No response. And so quickly, that's almost normal walking speed. <laughs> I was honestly thinking you need a cooler nickname to go with your need for speed. Hot Wheels. <laughs> Your insults are so lame! She is like an 80s movie villain! 
It's like... Oh, there's always this PSA I remember from the 90s, from the early 90s when I was a kid, with the Ninja Turtles in it. And there's like, it's it's the old cliche of like, some kid like trying to give other kids joints in the middle of like, middle school, which never happened to anybody. And to say no to the, the bully peddling drugs, the kid goes, YOU'RE A TURKEY! <laughs> and I always remember that, because even as a little kid I was like, that is the lamest fucking insult that would just get you, like, laughed at or beat up. <laughs> and you would deserve it. <laughs> I'm over here like, you can bully better than this. Come on, be creative. <laughs> Here's the moment. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pick, right? I gotta make a choice. Anyway. In an instant, Olivia stopped to a squeaking halt. Oh, that apparently triggered her. Gone was her stark face, and its place were eyes wide with shock. Does this have some kind of double meaning I'm unaware of? How the hell? Olivia's pace falters. Mia quickly steps ahead and places her foot the, uh, on her left wheel. Your brain dead finhead friend told me to get told me back in gym class. He went on about how you had it back, how you had it back when you were still soiling your dike. Her nickname. Honestly, I think you should embrace it. So say it. Mm. Well. Mm. Oh, hey, this game can get away with saying the, the hard R. <laughs> How come everyone gets mad at me? Are you retarded, you stupid bitch? Fucking say it. Just say, say Hot Wheels. <laughs> it's scathing. God, do you need fucking speech therapy too? Say it. Hot Wheels! <laughs> Hot Wheels! I knew you could do it! Kind of fit in, I agree with half of it. Olivia's claws dig into her armrest! How dare she say Olivia isn't hot? <laughs> she is the hottest thing here! <laughs> Maybe that's the nuance, the point that only half of it works. Mia turns to look at Kiara and Lin Linara, electing some are giggling from them. Why am I letting this happen? It's a good screenshot out of Cox. It's just her screaming Hot Wheels. Yeah. I'm sure you wouldn't mind us making it cool again, though, right? I mean, you were such a winner back then. Mia leans close, her voice now harsh stage whisper as she glares daggers through Olivia. What's wrong, Hot Wheels? Don't want to talk anymore? Am I not good enough for you? Is, is this some sort of tension here? Is it... <laughs> I'm sending mixed messages. Even from afar, I can tell that Olivia is starting to lose her composure. Her tail lays limply on the floor as if the energy to hold it was drained away. I should do something! Oh my god! I think this is bullying! It took me five whole minutes of watching Mia insult Olivia to her face nonstop to realize that this is bullying! I am a very quick-witted man. I am Inko. He's taking pictures. Yeah, he's just been taking pictures the whole time before it occurred to him that this is bullying. <laughs> there, there you go, Kaiser. That's your next one to draw. <laughs> I didn't want to believe it. But it's undeniable by now. This is textbook bullying. I've read about this. It's unfair. <laughs> it's like where you're in line to use the restroom after hours and hours of waiting and someone cuts in front of you. Completely inexcusable. It's just rude. They go taking pictures of horrible stuff is already a meme. I'm sure it is. <laughs> is this the part where I should step in? Should I be the hero like in all the PSAs? What do I even say? I have to at least try, right? It is my duty as a fellow student! Maybe I don't need to say anything at all? Just being present for Olivia against the Horde? Yeah, just- yeah, just stand there silently and say nothing! I'm sure that will help! <laughs> it go! And it certainly wouldn't help if I got an even bigger target on my back for Mia! Ah, fuck that bitch. Olivia wrenches herself free from Mia's foot and continues down the hall. The others follow like vultures. I think vultures are descended from their species, right? <laughs> oh man, I need to think and act fast. I have to think and act much faster than I have been so far. <laughs> okay. 
Dot, dot, dot. My legs move on their own as I cross the hallway. I've instantly noticed Mia's already registered my presence and her expression changes. My heart starts beating quicker and harder. This is very nerve-wracking. I might pee my pants. <laughs> Time's up for being indecisive. Hmm. <laughs> Are we saying we shouldn't trust him to open his fucking mouth? <laughs> Should he just stand there? Is that the best? <laughs> okay. You guys seem to be hinting that I should just I should just stand there like a big idiot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't trust to go with anything. As much as I want to go off of me and her posse, Olivia wouldn't want me to try standing up for her again. It went very badly last time. That's true. That's true. I accidentally called her useless. No, not me. Inko did. But it, as I've said before, when I play a game, all of us are the main character. Me, you, the entire chat, everybody. We're all the main character together, collectively. <laughs> uh. Besides, I would probably fumble the words and make myself look like a fool anyway. A very rare occurrence, but I, that could happen. So there's really not much I can do. But what I can do is nothing. <laughs> I can do nothing. I'm useless. I am the useless one. Say nothing, do nothing, just wait for Olivia to pass by. And then maybe trip the girls with my foot. She stops a bit in confusion, but quickly remembers she's currently on the run. When she passes by, I follow down the same hallway, our pupils locking, slowing my pace to be slightly behind her. Okay. I'm just putting- I'm just making myself a big stupid wall between her and the bullies. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh... oh, I do, I do, <laughs> I do, I was saying on my last streams that you could tell a lot of love was put into this game, even though it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a send up, it's a bit of a pastiche that makes fun of itself, you know, you, you could tell there was love put into it. I do like the art style a lot, actually, <laughs> as much as I'm making fun of things, I am enjoying it. I wouldn't be streaming it if I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, Olivia, because look, I only got like a, I only got like 300 views on each of the lives. <laughs> Why else would I be streaming it unless it was fun? <laughs> anyway, Olivia turns to look at me with equal parts surprise and dread. She's afraid I might say something again and ruin everything. I think a part of her fears that I'm about to say or do something really stupid. I mean, I might have a track record of that, perhaps lately. Instead, I merely give a warm smile, his same dumb smile. <laughs> To be picked on by that many people at once, all certain they're going to do no wrong, it's terrifying. At moments like this, she should know someone's got her back, literally, because I'm, I'm right behind her. <laughs> Even if I have nothing to offer, at least <laughs> the playing field will be a little less with I have nothing to offer you, Olivia, but standing here staring at you, please love me! <laughs> My racist Olivia shirt sure confused- Yeah, I don't know why that one blew up of all of them when I- uh Maybe it was the title, just like, Olivia, you can't ask people why they're white. And that one was only like three seconds long, so it's probably most people watched it through. But now that she has someone beside her. Anyway. The Hal. Yeah, I know, that jacket. And I know that bullseye for a head from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, wow, you recognize the one human in the school? Wow! Amazing! Are you all like short-sighted species or something that it took you this long to figure out? The group starts falling behind us. Oh god! Oh god! This is how I die! Can I hug the gator before I do? Olivia glances over to me and I return another small smile. Well, 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 if it ain't baldy. I just go for the most obvious traits to, to insult you by. I really am a Bostonian. <laughs> Coming in to save the day or something. Like a knight in shining sweatpants. <laughs> I don't respond. Instead, I keep my head forward and I keep walking with Olivia. We are full of dignity. It seems to catch me a bit off guard as I can hear the gears in her mind visibly start to turn. Honestly, though, this is the best way to deal with someone who's being abrasive. Just, just walk away. Don't even acknowledge them. Just walk away. What the fuck can they do about it? The, the only thing they can do about it is, like, physically attack you. And then if they do that, they get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> she 
not insult someone's appearance when her hair looks like a turtle shell stuffed with paper shredding. <laughs> yeah. Let's just keep ragging on her hair. It's probably a wig. <clears throat> Mia's canonically a mechanic. So she's pretty much confirmed to be from Boston. Man, I am like... I am like acing it, picking picking the, the voices. Like, I didn't even like... Like, making fucking Damien Southern was just random on my account, but apparently it worked out. <laughs> hey, I'm still talking to you, Hot Wheels! The sound of shuffling boats start to gate on us! Hopefully you look like the lame one for calling her Hot Wheels. It's really fucking lame, Mia. You're almost an adult, Mia. Come on now. <laughs> just because you have Baldy here to protect you now, it isn't going to save your hide. Neither him or any of your dipshit friends. I can see Olivia's claws digging into her armrest with the nickname, but otherwise she maintains her apathetic leer. The more we walk, the more obscenities Mia keeps blurting out to try to get a rise out of either of us. <clears throat> this is why you don't have any real friends, you skipless salamander. I mean, she lives with Damien. That's pretty friendship. <laughs> I don't know if Olivia has a plan, because I can't fully understand why she's letting Mia walk all over her like this. She's probably gonna go to the elevator and fuck off. <laughs> but I remain steadfast and believe that she knows what she's doing. <laughs> probably more than you do. That's all I really can do. I am really useless for ev everything else in life. Who would even want to be with a cripple like ya? I can hear Ma Maya laughing at her own words. <laughs> That's how she laughs. Olivia, please change your mind and waste this bitch. <laughs> I agree. <coughs> You've dug through the files in, in development history. I've dug through the files a little bit to make thumbnails, but I, I've made sure to keep clear of anything that could be a spoiler. So. <laughs> yeah, you should put her in the next one. I don't know. <laughs> Dot dot dot. Go away, you stupid bitch. The scene is lasting forever. Ah, so you got something to say now, Hot Wheels? She shrugs. If that's how you feel, Mia, I'm very sorry you feel that way. Would you like to take my survey? <laughs> what? Olivia doesn't say anything else. She only turns around and begins to wheel herself down the hallway. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> this is how you should deal with people like this. Because what the fuck can she do? Nothing. Yeah, you're disabled! Ha ha ha! It's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very observant, dumbass. Me at a Bruins game for the thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a Red Sox game, just getting mad that they've lost again. <laughs> for a moment, I sit in place and watch as Mia tries to process what happened. Even her posse looks confused, unsure of what to say. They're all really dumb bitches. Uh, you really got her, Mia? Y yeah, you like, you definitely showed that leathery batch. Mia jerks her hair to her cohort, her head to her cohorts, and glares at them, angered by their pity comments. Then she stares me down with obsidian daggers in her eyes. Well, if that's my cue to leave. Do to do, I don't want to become mystery meat by. <laughs> With the grace of a headless chicken, I scrambled down the hallway to catch up with Olivia. No, I don't plan on getting all the endings, uh, hey, Cher. I'm just gonna play through once. I am completely blind, though. I just decided to stream this on a whim, because I've been wanting to stream video games again. So this this just happened, because cause one of my chatters bought it for me. <laughs> so... <laughs> but hopefully, I'll, if you guys want to guide me a little bit to getting a good ending, that'll be nice. Nice little end cap. <laughs> so, right in the corner, there's no Olivia to be found. Where did she go? I suddenly hear Lunara's voice echoing down the hall, followed closely by Mia, so cut up dead. Mia, where are you going? Or what are you doing? What the fuck up, bitch? Get back here, you fucks! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Not alone! Not with them! Dread fills me as I hear the pursuing predator's heavy footsteps approach me. All my monkey senses are going off. I'm grabbed from behind. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm... Whoa! Suddenly, I'm finally pulled aside. Right into the school's elevator by the color of my jacket. I knew the elevator was going to come back. Check off's elevator. Oh, is this the cutscene everybody was talking about on Twitter? Is this, is this the cutscene everybody was talking about on Twitter? 
Let me get the best ending. We can watch the other endings on YouTube after I'm done with the game. We'll watch, we'll watch the other endings after I'm done. Uh, one in four. Okay, I don't know, I don't know how to quantify which one I'm, I'm, I'm going toward, but. <laughs> also, get to, get the epilogue, you have to see all the endings. Well, we'll watch the epilogue on YouTube as well when I'm done with the game. I don't usually go through games multiple times on stream, so. Oh, it is better? Okay. Four is good, one is tragic. I don't want to get the tragic one. Oh, thank God, it wasn't me. <laughs> she jams a key into the slot and smashes the button on the second level. Bing. As the doors close, we hear Mira roar out for us. Next time I see those two again, I'll make sure that oversized cue ball has to use that wheelchair of hers instead. And what's she going to use? <laughs> Thankfully, the elevator door is closed shut and the car jerks upwards before making its ascent. We've pissed off a crazy bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> Bye. I never knew I'd feel grateful to be in this death trap. As I catch my breath, I had unknowingly held my eyes aligned with a silver pair of serpentine eyes. Dot, 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 question mark. I, uh, I appreciate what you did for me back there. You know, just, you know, just standing there in support like, like the dumb himbo you are. <laughs> I really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm not used to being appreciated. I'm not sure what to say back, really. Instead, I smile back and nod. Maybe being silent is the best thing for, for my socializing. If I'm just quiet, everyone seems to like me. <laughs> okay, four is best. Sadie. Four is best. Three is bittersweet. Two is saddening. And one is tragic. Let's try to avoid the sad ones. <laughs> At least. Four is canon. Okay. You guys, you guys... You guys, like I said, you guys are allowed to, like, push me in the right direction. But you're also allowed to try to, try to sabotage that. So <laughs> I'll have to see who I can trust. No, she doesn't want to join in. She wants to chase the cat off my bed because she's very territorial about my bed for some reason. Leave the kitty alone. He didn't do anything to you. We've gotten to the part where Olivia is posting on the dinosaur supremacy forums. <laughs> In return, she gives me a half smile before recomposing herself. Back into Moody. Uh, you should, uh, roll with me in the elevator from now on, you know, so you don't die. <laughs> oh, come! Well, you've just become enemies with her. She'll probably eat you. <laughs> if she sees you, you'll be a wad of gum under her boot. That sounds hot! <laughs> oh, joy! Yeah. Your best bet is just, so just to avoid her for now. This way... This way you stay out of the hallway, so just like scoot along the wall until you hit the elevator and yeah, I'll get you a key. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Wait, the elevator will stop Mia from beating the snot out of me this entire rest of the school? Mm, yes. She, she doesn't know how they work. They really confuse her. <laughs> Yeah, because I know, I know, no, nah, these comments aren't spoilers. Not really. Um, it, it's really just for chat's sake, because I know people like to see people react blind to things. Like, I typically don't care about getting spoiled <laughs> on things. If I ask not to be, then really don't, but, yeah. History class is bland as it usually is. Oh, boy. Broccoli continues prattling on about some sort of historical event, but most of my attention is on Olivia. She has her hoodie over her head and looks lost in thought. I can't put little notes in her hoodie today. <laughs> that altercation must have shaken her up more than I thought it would. <clears throat> Part of me wants to ask if she'll be okay. Even though I've already asked three times already. <laughs> in the middle of class. <laughs> but the last thing I'd want to do is prod at her. I could be very annoying. Soon enough, the class nears its end and Olivia uses her accommodation to leave the class early. Besides, we can talk about it after school if she wants to anyways. The more I think about it, the more I realize I had my first real confrontation with a bully at school. This is the first time I've stood up to bullies. Uh. Now nah, I'm not gonna activate debug. We're, we're, it's more fun. It's more fun if I'm just stumbling around in the dark. <laughs> what my choice be? I'm giving the option to push Olivia down a flight of stairs. Is there an option to do that? <laughs> That's terrible. 
anyway. I've, I've heard it once said that when you go into a fight for a first time, you throw up from the adrenaline. No fish were thrown, but I feel about the same right now. I've just felt like I'm gonna throw up since yesterday. <laughs> I wring my hands together and to try steadying them. Jeez, I'm a wuss. I stood up to Mia with Olivia and I end up in this mess. Dot, dot, dot. The final class ends and I'm set free for the day. Oh, we're all hanging out outside. Awesome. Stepping out of St. Hammond's main entrance, I'm surprised to see my friends huddled together in a tightly knit group. None of them look happy. I usually don't see any of them after school. I always assume they left as soon as the bell rang. I just thought they disappeared in a puff of smoke as soon as school ends. Carter stares and bossing say, Hey guys, what's going? Anko! Damien looks exceptionally worried as he glances at me. Anko, you believe me, right? Pardon? Olivia's nostrils flare with an exacerbated snort. I didn't mean for any of that to happen. What's, uh, what's the matter, Damien? What the fuck is going on now? When Mia asked about that nickname stuff from so long ago, I just blurted it out. Because I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just, all, all that's up in my head is like meat, meat and, meat and weed, probably. <laughs> she didn't say she'd use for something so unscrupulous. I just trusted the bully bitch with, with the embarrassing nickname Olivia had. <laughs> I'm a terrible foster brother. <laughs> I, I'm ashamed it took me more than a moment to figure out what was happening. <laughs> that seems to happen a lot. Yes, Damien feels culpable for what Mia said, but why? Oh, wait, what was Liz's voice again? It was just like bitchy, studious, I don't know. You don't know what that word means. Who cares? Anko! I didn't mean for any of that to happen. I I'm so sorry you're gonna get eaten by a crazy bitch. Hey, I believe you, man. Your heart was in the right place, probably, maybe. I don't know. Why would you even say these things? <laughs> Olivia told us what just happened with Mia, calling her some nickname. Damien leans back over un an unresponsive Olivia, his hands spread in supplication. She said you were there, too. I was, yeah. I was just staring. Taking photos. Olivia, you loved that nickname back when we were kids. I have, I have no, I have no sense of things changing. Maybe his words were dismissed, mis dismissed with a roll of her smoky eyes. He really didn't mean it, Olivia. No tomatoes today, Kaiser. Sorry, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes will be next week. You can throw tomatoes at me again on the art stream. I just thought it would be too distracting for this. Anyway. I know already. For a split second, she bore row upon row of sharp teeth before gnashing her maw in frustration. Olivia's nostrils flare out with a huff of hot breath, and I can practically see everything from her day finally way on, me. Way on her. You want to throw a tomato at Damien? You should... You were just being you again, Damien. Sometimes I wish you weren't, but whatever. Like, fucking lay off the weed, bro. <laughs> you have no memory. There's grittiness in her voice once more, but she continues on. Like, there isn't always a grittiness in her voice the way I voice act her. <laughs> She's drinking her whiskey again. Empty again. No. The grit is back in her voice, but she presses on. And the nickname was just that. A nickname. I'm just... I don't want to hear it again. Especially from her. And especially if it's just to get under my skin. Olivia stares at Damien for a while before breaking contact to glance at Liz and I. <clears throat> Why not? <laughs> I cannot read a room! <laughs> Wait, did I say that? Did I say that out loud? Everyone's glaring at me. I must have. Why did I ask that? It just kind of came out. I really should just stop talking in every situation. <laughs> Went well last time I decided not to talk. <laughs> Liz notice, notices Damien still organizing his thoughts. It takes him a while. Seeing as neither of the others are going to answer coherently, she sighs. Well, I wasn't around for this, but... When they were freshmen in middle school, Damien and Olivia would take the bus every weekend to an arcade in the city. I guess he came up with a nickname around then, and it stuck. 
Er, that's half right, but I didn't come up with it. I'd bought a chunk of change for us to play stuff with each other. Oh, we're having a flashback, everybody. Look how it's fading out, all fancy. A match on just about anything was a quarter. Probably still is. In 2023? I, I don't think so, Damien. I'm pretty sure fucking arcade machines even take like a whole fucking dollar or two now. <laughs> but, I, but I don't think I won even once. Once she stood to win something, it's like a switch went off in her head. She was fucking nuts, man. <laughs> I never see Olivia get like that. Some of the teenagers were watching too. They saw everything. A couple challenged her once I ran out of cash, and sure enough, she ended up clearing house all afternoon. They were playing like uh, House of the Dead or something, probably. <laughs> it was all she'd talk about at school all week until we could go back for more. Only took like a month for her to be recognized as some sort of local champion. Sometime along the way, people started calling her Hot Wheels. I don't remember who really went or where or what or how or wh why. <laughs> but I do know it's proof she's got that fire in her. You know, like like fire, like like flames painted on the side of a Hot Wheel. <laughs> it's an allegory, Olivia. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Wow, yeah, that's... I had fun back then. Don't have fun no more. Life's miserable. <laughs> Damien probably was the one to invent Hot Wheels and he just forgot. You're probably right. <laughs> Inko's so dumb he does stuff before his brain even reacts. It's true. <laughs> Do y'all think Olivia has a hand-painted bong? Probably. She probably like She probably like glass sculpted it herself too. <laughs> it's painted with rats on it. I guess I forgot I wasn't supposed to bring it up. Have things really changed that much? Like, I just I just been floating through life since I was seven. Maybe I really need to <laughs> maybe I really need to reconsider this. And you did. Again. Damien hisses to himself. Sorry. Just can't help yourself. You're fucking stupid, Damien. But you're right. That was the best time of my life. It's all downhill now. <laughs> The name Hot Wheels belongs to 10-year-old me, not current me. Current me is a miserable bitch. <laughs> hey, that's a great story! To be recognized so well that you got a cool nickname, that sounds amazing! Being a champion, being a winner! I wish I knew how that felt! <laughs> well, the disdain for the title! I'm not. What? I'm not a winner anymore. Because you don't go to the arcade anymore? If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's only like a half hour away. Olivia looks at Liz like she just recommended everyone watch the newest Netsticks anime. <laughs> Netsticks. Netsticks. <laughs> Not the best fake brand name, but okay. <laughs> oh, this story is anything to go by. <laughs> look at look at Inko. He's about to say something very intelligent. <laughs> I'd like to see you be a winner again. Olivia's breath seems to hitch for a moment. Ooh, I think I have it in. <laughs> and I'm sure these guys want to see it too, right, friends? I'm a shonen protagonist. <laughs> Damien's the one that dragged you out to our lunch table all this time, right? Look at him. He's nearly ne keeled over because he's afraid of losing that part of you. And Liz? Oh, I get acknowledgement. Nice. <laughs> I think I'd like to see why you and Damien are really close friends. Yeah. And just as quick as I gained the bravado to speak up, my words left me immediately. Um, brain no worky now. <laughs> I think I accidentally put Olivia on the spot here. <laughs> Whoops. Well, her tail rolls along the ground in a bit of contemplation. Really hurts for her to think too, I see. If you guys really care about it that much, I mean, like, twist my arm, why don't you? You know, go ahead and have a fun time for once instead of hiding in my room. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it from you guys. All at once, Damien lightens up. He realizes he's off the hook. Yeah! All right, Hot Wheels is back. <laughs> you guys now refers to Liz and Inko. Get the fuck out, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's shoulders drop for a moment as he quickly recovers. Yeah, Pog Damien, Pog Face Damien. I'll have to use that on a thumbnail at some point. I'll have to go in the files and find it. 
<laughs> hey, if we're getting the name out again, we should go visit the arcade together sometime. Wasn't that wasn't that what we were already planning? <laughs> I'd rather not. Okay, then how about a better name? Like Death Roll. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, swings our tail around that trip, but he's fast enough to jump over it. <laughs> Damien's word words flood out as he contemplates new nicknames for Olivia to try to appeal to her, many of which are shot down by her and leave Liz and I chuckling. <laughs> How about Holy Roller? How about... <laughs> I don't think of some other ones. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Gradually, our giggles died down and the four of us chatted a bit more about the day in general. Eventually, Damien and Liz headed for their respective ways with Olivia deciding to stick around. Most of school had filtered out of their various homebound rides to their after-school activities, leaving Olivia and I all alone. Ask me for some nicknames. <laughs> hey, I'll roll with you. <laughs> Get it, roll. Really? I mean, I don't mind, of course. Eh, it's nothing. House is only a few blocks away anyway. Besides, I'm sure someone would beat you up and take your lunch money if I didn't. <laughs> Or if I didn't escort you, I mean, I don't mean I'm gonna take your lunch money, though I could. <laughs> There's plenty of time to make it to the next train, so the two of us take it easy. I'm a di dinosaur monster truck. <laughs> the sun finally managed to break through the autumn clouds, making the walk almost unseasonably warm. This is a new background, or is it? I don't Maybe we saw this at the beginning of the game. Man, I thought last day of summer was weeks ago. <clears throat> <laughs> it was. But I don't mind it staying warm lo longer, though. Actually, I can't talk. <laughs> Feels pretty great to me. Olivia gets her chair an extra hard push, letting herself glide by, uh, by unaided for long enough to stretch her arms out and bask in the sunlight. That was an awkward sentence! I might have figured you'd like the heat. You're a gator. Oh, what? Because I'm a dino? You're not a dino, you're a gator. No, no, not like that. I didn't mean it. I didn't... Uh, I'm ignorant. I'm just playing. Relax. You're pretty touchy on that stuff, aren't you? It seems like humans are, you know? <laughs> humans are always talking about skin color and shit. You're like, yeah, guys are really weird. <laughs> the two of us finally make it to the plane train platform. The plane transform. <laughs> the train platform. Nestled it as it is off the main street. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can see the train. You don't need to describe all this. I just think it's important to be educated is all. I am very educated, Olivia. Look at me. I know many things. <laughs> Even if you're, what, the only human at our school? Olivia flashes me a cheeky grin as my train pulls up. I've got to admit, but her mischievous nature is a little infectious. As the train door opens, I leave Olivia with one final jab, something I know she'd appreciate. I can't push her down these stairs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Hot Wheels. I neatly dodge out of the way of her slashing claw, stepping smartly onto the train as the doors close. Smooth, Inko. Smooth. Inko, you son of a bitch! Get back here! He's already on the train. As the doors ding shut behind me, I can see the irate still blushing Olivia, waving her fist as the train begins to pull away. She's so sundry! Still giggling, I managed to squeeze myself into a seat next to a yellow-scaled woman smelling faintly of hot dogs. <laughs> you know, I may pay for that comment later. <laughs> but the look on her face was totally worth it. Are we gonna go back home to where my parents aren't are and never have been? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. As the school year progresses, the days start to feel like they're moving along much faster. I have still not seen my parents. I am quickly running out of food. There's supposed to be a cutscene there, but it was cut for some reason. Maybe they didn't finish it in time. A part of it may be the change in season, however that slight change may be. While the calendar says it's officially fall, the only thing I've really noticed was the increasing number of clouds in the sky. Better safe than sorry, though, which is why I brought my fancy compact carbon fiber umbrella. <laughs> Still, <laughs> things have started to be routine for me in the mornings. Wake up. Throw on my clothes, consider eating breakfast for realizing I'd wrecked my stomach, walk to the station with a featherlight umbrella in hand. So you don't shower in the morning and you don't eat. And you wonder why you're such a fucking mess and go. <laughs> All I have left are our very frozen breakfast burritos that are a month out of date. I have not seen my parents. He is a sim. You're right. He can't take care of himself. 
It's time? Oh no, what's happening? <laughs> the, the CG didn't match the art style? Oh. I mean, considering how sometimes the backgrounds are just filtered photos, I wouldn't think they'd care, but... Anyway, oh, there's uh, Mr. Ferris again. He was cinema snob. That was the voice I was doing. <laughs> and what do you know when I end up having another chat with Mr. Ferris on the ride to school? Why does this man keep bothering me? Hello, Mr. Nito. How are you this morning? Doing fine, sir. Thank you. And how are you? I'm doing well. Dot, dot, dot. This is awkward. So, my niece told me over the weekend that you and Olivia were in a predicament of some sort. Oh, yeah, Olivia was being picked on by someone, but it's not a problem anymore. I took care of it, sir. I see. Well, that's unfortunate to hear and strange, considering the substantial funding the school gets for anti-student harassment programs. So he says he's going to audit the school. I'm still not entirely sure what his fucking job is. <laughs> <clears throat> It's fully drawn on Twitter, though. We can see it on Twitter. I'll have to check it out sometime. Ugh, I just need some water. <laughs> what good is all that tax money if classmates are still ragging on each other? Isn't that what... I still can't figure out how to allow links on YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it means anything, Olivia knows how to handle herself. I was there to support her by just standing around smiling like a himbo. <laughs> That's fine, but the issue is the sort of thing shouldn't be happening to begin with. <clears throat> Has any anti-bullying campaign actually worked? Probably not. <laughs> Ahem. That aside, Liz has gotten somewhat, somewhat enthusiastic recently regarding Olivia. She's surprised at how animated she's gotten. Why are you all obsessed with this girl? <clears throat> And maybe there's like 20 students in the school. Maybe that's why everyone knows everyone. Ever since the get-together at Randall's place, I think. Unless right, he was at the cookout. I'd wager you'd have something to do with that. No. Yeah, maybe a little. Yeah, it, it was certainly rocky in the beginning, but we've been warming up to each other. I've learned not to stare at her. <laughs> it's nice seeing a different side of her, even if it's brief. I don't know, can I take credit for that? We all have unique chances to make a change, Inko. If you're good at grasping them, then in, it, then, it, then in itself is something good to be proud of. How do you know it's really a chance to do anything? He lets out a deep, reverberating chuckle that the voice actor cannot do. <laughs> well, to flip our usual script and let you in on an old phrase, a friend of mine once told me, if you see a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> Inko's gonna think it's a literal fork, isn't he? Yeah? Thanks, Mr. Ferris. Inko's a himbo with specific skills, yes. <laughs> Don't try to be smart, Inko. Be the, be the himbo you were always meant to be. That's why you smell burnt toast when he tries to think. <laughs> like my mornings, the school days have become a routine as well. Slave through PE with Damien. Why is PE always your first... Period. I don't understand. Why would any school schedule things that way? <laughs> See, Olivia has no doodles and sketches in our class. Watch Liz lose her mind tutoring Damien at lunch and stop talk shop with Ben, who I still haven't realized is a baby back bitch. Though now I have to avoid Mia like the plague because she surely has to kill me. I think she's pretty easy to avoid, though. She's bright fucking red. <laughs> like an alarm. Dino schools would have PE class every morning, maybe. All said, I think St. Hammond has been my best school experience out of... Man, I've lost how count how often I've moved. I've lost count of how often I've been expelled. <laughs> Must be the fresh head trauma. <laughs> you know, unlike the past head trauma. <laughs> That's for today. Back in gym class. Wait, why does she ever fuck-ass bangs in that hairdo? She actually looks kind of cute with pigtails. <laughs> I know she's a teenage dinosaur, but listen. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a cuter hairstyle. It's been raining pretty heavy, pretty often recently, so Coach Sully made us play dodgeball at the gym. Oh no. oh, no. Mia was definitely gunning for me with the way she launched them at me with the speed of a catapult. It was a dumb sign up for the morning PE, probably. 
I rested out against glass, popping my spine against the curve of my chair. Apparently today's a short day because of some assembly, so the period will be end much earlier than usual. It also means we get most of the period to slack off, do homework. Do homework? I glanced at the desk next to mine, helps in catching Olivia's latest artistic masterpiece, but I noticed she's not drawing, and instead only fidgeting. Oh no, does she have artist block? <clears throat> hey Olivia, you seem a bit nervous! Is everything alright? Am I helping, Olivia? <laughs> Am I helping? Um, yeah, sorry. It's just that I... I've been hearing rumors that the school's shared drive might have been corrupted. What, really? Yeah, really. How would something like that happen? I don't understand computers! Not sure, but I'm scared but I'm scared it might have messed with the art contest submissions. Is somebody sabotaging? Oh. I think you should check out your entry on the website just to make sure it's okay. Well, I mean, wait. <laughs> would the would the images displayed on the website be taken from the, the school's drive though? Wouldn't those just be uploaded onto the, the website's hosting space unless the website is also hosted by the same server? I mean <laughs> That's not how images and browsers work. <laughs> They're all 18. They're all 18. It's a bit weird. They're in high school. Well, 18 is still senior year, so it's not weird, but it is a, it is a staple of, like, visual novels like that. Those like, oh, all these characters are totally 18. They're totally 18, guys. Totally 18. No matter what they look like, they're totally 18. <laughs> and technology, don't fail me now! With urgency, I take out my phone and type on the school's website. Fast fingers lead me to the art contest tab. And this loading bar go any slower. Finally, the page loads in and... Oh. Looks like the submissions have been closed. What? I hold the phone up for Olivia to show her the page. The submissions have been closed since voting started last week. Oh. Did she never submit her piece? Whoopsie doodles. Hey, so I thought Mr. Heineken had spooked me. Olivia's all seized up. Well, that's quite reassuring. With the submissions closed, there's no chance any hacker of any hacker messing with them. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, they can still mess with the winner, couldn't they? Olivia's a gator. She can live to a thousand while looking like a lolly. Yes, uh, yes, obviously. <laughs> Olivia, look at my computator! Pulls up Fireboy and Water Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> uh, you would think that's a brilliant movie. Of <laughs> course, that would be the, the copyright free version. <laughs> Olivia doesn't seem convinced, still drumming her fingers on her desk. She suspects sabotage! Hopefully, she'll feel loads better when the preliminary, pre preliminary winners are revealed. <laughs> I can't speak right even in my head. Speaking of which, when are we. Bing bong, bing bong. As the school bell sounds, the class begins to pack their things, and Heineken corrals everybody to the local single file line. <laughs> I'm having real trouble reading tonight. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have an assigned row, so stick together. Before I join the rest of the line, I look back at Olivia, who seems to be stalling. Come on, I'll walk with you. That seems to stir something in her. She glances up to me while hastily shoving her notebook into her bag. She looks like she's going, oh woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. As we head out the door, I notice Olivia shuffling her hoodie a lot. I wonder what this could mean! <laughs> it's not a long walk to the auditorium, and despite Eidekin's best attempts, most of that class splinters off with their friends. <laughs> he looks French? He just looks French to you. I don't know, I made him... I started out as, um... As Matt Mercer in Persona 5 and ended up on James from Pokemon, and I think we're fine with that. <laughs> I think expecting this, he shrugs and makes his way over to the back of the auditorium where the other teachers are. He does not give a fuck, ever. Olivia and I are left struggle left to the struggling crowd, trying to filter into the cramped theater of the school. It's going to be difficult finding some seats. That's fine, I have a spot. I have a handicapped spot, dumbass. Here we go. Olivia wheels herself down the pathway, to which I follow suit! I'm just gonna hover behind her all the time. She heads down the island toward the first the first row of seats. It's a vacant spot where a typical seat would be with a faded handicap sign. 
Olivia parks her chair in the empty spot to which I take the seat next to her. Best seats in the house, right? Can't complain! As the hall fills with more students, my anticipation rises. What the fuck is this even about? Oh man, I can hardly wait for the announcements! I'm so excited! <laughs> oh! Do you think I have a chance? Huh? Oh, maybe. Photography isn't super popular, but, you know, all you do is, like, point and click with a camera. You don't even have to, like, you don't even have to, like, paint or anything, bro. I mean, it's kind of lame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually respect photography, but I'm just pretending Olivia doesn't. <laughs> Prepare my arms. Prepare my arms? What is there, like, a quick time event coming or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, folds her hands in her lap, staring straight ahead as her voice trails off. I knew that, but I'm still hopeful. Hey guys! Woo! <laughs> I have to remind myself that this is normal! Hey, Liz! I can't believe it's finally here! Gosh, I'm so excited! Her voice changes every single time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me too! By the way, where's Damien? <laughs> there he is! Hey, guys! I'm over here! <laughs> Damien is on the far back of the auditorium, wave, yelling and waving his arms in the air to catch our attention. He's going to get in trouble for that. Probably not. Brown, sit down! Damien immediately stops and takes his seat. With tempered expectations, we both sit in silence for a few minutes before Principal Scaler walks on the stage and taps the standing microphone. And this is another background that's just a filtered photograph that they could have at least... They could have at least smudged a little bit. In Clip Studio to make it look like it was painted, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was doing basically my, my customer service voice for her. Okay, everyone. We get a whole bunch of important announcements to make, so I'll make them quick so we can... I'll have lunch early. This does not guarantee that I can read any better in a professional voice. <laughs> as soon as the idea of going for an early lunch is brought up by Principal Scaler, the entire room goes silent as vigil. I guess when it comes to an early lunch, it's serious business. Over the next 15 minutes, Principal Scaler goes over important events coming up for the school year. <laughs> Olivia looks so engaged. <laughs> Most I would consider standard things like pep rallies for the sports teams or bake sales, fundraise, and even something about new clubs being formed such as the Japanese Animation Appreciation Society. Oh boy, there's gonna be an anime club. <laughs> Not the best acrobat if I had to say. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese Animation Appreciation Society. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's all mostly boring housekeeping stuff. <laughs> when one got right down to it. I almost wonder why such announcements warranted an assembly when the mood suddenly shifts with Scaler's next big announcement. I said the best one for last, of course. Now that we get the main stuff out of the way, I've saved the best announcement for last. St. Hammond is proud to announce the five semi-finalists for the annual Fresh Start Art Contest. Here's an applause roar, and not loud enough to make my ears ring, and there was much rejoicing! Yes, exactly, keep talking, that was the joke. Yes, Kaiser, that was the joke. <laughs> Thank you. Yet I'd be lying if I said it. I also wasn't excited for the reveal of just who had made it to the semifinals. Maybe I was giving myself too much credit, but I really wanted to be among those semifinalists. I need to prove that photography is art! I can almost taste victory, in fact. I turned to face Olivia and prepared to cheer alongside her, but I'm stopped in my tracks when I noticed that unlike the rest of her peers, Olivia seemed to be uneasy about the prospect. Almost scared, even. Before I can ask Olivia why her sudden change in move, Scalar continues with her next words, cutting my train of thought off. And here we have the five semi-finalists. The pieces of the five skillful students who had beat all the other competitors came up, followed by the names of the victors right above them. Alas, I see no photography of submission in sight. No one respects me! At least I gave it a shot, right? Shot? Like cameras? Get it? Oh man, I didn't make it in. No one respects digital art either. <laughs> Liz's neck, neck droops down like a melancholy noodle. I can't help but feel pity for the bummed out Brachiosaurus. Bzz, 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 bzz. Checking my phone, I see. <laughs> it's, it's Damien. And again, I, before last time I asked, did 
Did I, Inko, put him in my phone as D-Man, or did he put his own number in my phone as D-Man? I think Damien <laughs> put his own number in my phone as D-Man. Tell Liz to come back here, bro! I'm lonely! <laughs> Just shove her, okay. I'm sure Damien's got that handled. <laughs> Lowers her fucking head back over the crowd. That's amazing. <laughs> Despite my silly mood, I look back to the semi final winners. I can't help but be amazed by them. Each artwork is impressive in its own right. Their colors blending wonderfully and the figures beautifully designed. It's easy to see why these were voted as the winners. The last one especially catches my eyes. The scenic landscape of the setting sun looks stunning. If not for the slight stylization of the skyline and fantastical color palette, it could probably pass up as a real photograph with some filters pasted over it. <laughs> you know, like some of these backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, you did tell me that, Kaiser. They they had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun with the neck jokes with Liz. <laughs> They've all been pretty damn good. <laughs> he forgot how to spell Damien, so he went for D-Man. <laughs> I would believe that too. <laughs> I'm no art critic yet, but if I were, I'd label it as a masterpiece. It is usually the best out of all of them. Yes, we can trust Inko's opinion on everything. Let's give our winners a big round of applause. The auditorium fills with the usual kind of clapping one would expect an event like this. There was much rejoicing! Yay. Polite with an underlying tone of disinterest. The one person felt compelled to constantly make a piercingly high whistle. There's always one! We will be displaying the winner's art pieces in, in room 237. You're welcome to view them during lunch and after school today. I'm sure there'll be no sabotage. <laughs> Damien put himself in as D-Man because he forgot how to spell Damien his own name. Yes, yes, that is, yes. Ted can accept it. <laughs> oh, Nino! Principal Scaler continues the rest of the assembly, announcing other events for the school and other minor reminders. Behind me, I see the teachers start psyching themselves up for the Herculean task of getting some 200 hungry dinosaur teenagers out of the room and towards lunch without anyone getting killed. <laughs> Principal Scaler finishes her ways back to the to signal it's time. All right, we're going to start adjourning to lunch. You all know how this goes, so no just going for the exit. <laughs> They're all going to go for the exit. Be be being in the first row, we were the first to get up. Aha! I follow behind Olivia until we make it to the hall. Hey, Olivia! She stops and turns around a bit. Gee, she's still anxious about the sight thing earlier? She looks a little pale. I wanted to check out the wedding paintings a bit more. Want to come along? She considers for a moment. No, go on without me. I need to use the restroom. I need to use the little gator's room. <laughs> Bye! Alright, I'll see you at the lunch table then! Olivia nods and starts off down the hall, following the flow of students toward the lunchroom. I see. The principal said it was just room 30, 237. Are we gonna see a new room? <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a big crowd. First thing I noticed walking to the classroom is the amount of people checking out the art gallery, but they're all NPCs, so it's fine. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be filled to the brim with eager students. It's a decent amount of people here, too. About a baker's dozen or so. <laughs> I hope the little, little gator's room isn't the elevator. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> Maybe more will come in when they finish up their lunches. While I'm here now, let's take a look at the lucky winners. The pieces are all set on easels in the back of the classroom. Some desks and chairs are moved closer to the front to give each one its own space. One by one, I take a moment to give each canvas a thorough review. The auditorium, the auditorium screen really didn't give the art justice because now I can really take up the detail of each one being up close. Okay. That was like he was making a meta joke there for a second. That's why I was like stumbling. A color palace, the brushwork, the subtle nuances, and we're gonna pretend it's all not digital art. Yeah, I can definitely see all of them having a good shot at getting the first prize. We're not gonna see a single one of them. Just use your imagination! <laughs> but now it's time to see the one I've been eager to get a look at since it was first shown. We can at least see this one. Wow! What a... Yeah... At least they tried to make this one actually look like paint. I'll give them that. <laughs> I'll give them that. <laughs> I'm such a fucking snob when it comes to the artwork in this game. <laughs> from what I recall from Mr. Anakin's lessons, it's made with acrylics, explaining why the colors seem to be a bit more vibrant. Well, that's true. Acrylics don't blend as much as, like, uh, oils do. So if you want big, bold colors and big, bold color areas, you want to use acrylics. 
You know, but Inko's passionate about, yeah, I know, I mean, I'm playing Inko goofy, but, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's still his character trait. It says out of defiance of the other paintings of the contest, most of which were either violently absurdist or meaningless or muted still lines of ordinary objects. It's a meadow of mystifying colors, the organic lines drawing the viewer deeper into the piece, and I feel as though this would be the place I'd wake up to within a fantastical dream. There's no rigid structure or forced metaphors here, just a fantastical merger of a creative expressionism and real-world beauty. Yeah, sure, sure is. <laughs> I feel my finger is itching for the familiar weight of a DSLR. This is a piece that I want to immortalize in my portfolio. Well, can it be... Is it a portfolio piece if you just take a photo of somebody else's artwork? Maybe he really is going to go on to sell NFTs. <laughs> uh. What, it's what they do in media artwork and cartoons within cartoons are deliberately made worse to avoid clashing on the uh, but still I want to hug that painting <laughs> it's hands down the winner of the contest in my eyes I simply must find out who made this looks like this breathtaking show of artistic talent was created by semi-finalist winner dot 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 dot? That's a problem! I don't remember painting this! I must be blanking out! Ah, Inko, I'm glad you swung by. Did somebody, like, fuck up all the names or something? Is that why Olivia was mad at me? Looks like you're admiring the art contest entries. I told you that St. Hammond's artistic programs were unparalleled. Maybe there's someone in the, in the school with the same name as me! This is the true drama. Someone is trying to, like, someone just trying to, like, gaslight him out of being a photographer. <laughs> Somebody painted over his photograph to say it was a painting. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's not mine. Well, it's not yours. I try to say more, but the words won't leave my mouth! I'm- I'm so confused by this turn of events! Ben's eyes follow mine to the bottom of the painting in front of me, and I watch as he makes the same realization I do. I can't do that! I can't paint! <laughs> I can't paint even an adequate painting like that! In Inko, you- you didn't- did you paint this? I don't- I don't believe that. <laughs> I had no idea your style was so developed, so humble, if I had known. That's not my entry! It's not? You know I'm a photographer, Ben! I thought we were photography bros! Ben, why are you betraying me? But, what's your name doing on this one? Clearly somebody f fucked up. Everything past this point is literally like a 10 out of 10 game, really. Okay. Well, why would the hackers want to, like, just switch his name onto... I don't understand what your motive would possibly be unless because he's the diversity exchange student they want to make him look good what's the matter sadie oh the kitty went under my desk that's what's the matter so my dog is crying he's right next to the chair right now <laughs> it must be some kind of mistake a million scenarios come to mind they, they must have gotten the wrong name somehow i mean that's the most obvious explanation somebody just fucked up the names but you're all acting like something deeper is happening here so <laughs> If they did, I think the real artist would have come forward by now. Th then the submission website must be hacked or broken! But our school checks for stuff like that. If it was, we would have known by now. Did somebody put AI art over my photo? Then... Inko, you're sure you didn't submit somebody else's piece by accident? Are you sure you didn't, like... Are you sure you didn't, like, paint this while high on oil paints? Didn't you watch the safety video, Inko? <laughs> Of course I did it! Why would I do something like that? You're the only one who can log into your account, Inko. No! No, I'm not! Liz can! <laughs> Suddenly everything stops! My account! It's somebody! Look, relax, alright? We can get this sorted out, just don't panic. Is this gonna be like a who done it? Who ha who used my account? We know at least one other person has access to it. <laughs> Liz! It must be Liz, that bitch, unless she's a red herring. Though I thought she was kind of a bitch from the beginning. But I also think Ben's kind of a bitch. I don't think I can trust any of these people except Olivia and Damien. 
But Inko, just to be clear... What? You didn't just get a bit of extra help, right? Ben looks at me through the edge of his glasses, eye to eye! Which is impressive since he's smaller than me! There's some real stakes in the contest. Cheating is taken seriously. Really, what a stakes? What if Damon did it because he's stupid? Like, I couldn't hate Damien if he just did it because he's stupid. I thought it would be funny to submit a painting uh, uh, under your name, Inko. I don't know why I do things, Inko. And you'd be like, Damien, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Especially fraud. I don't know why I'm sounding like the, the, the auditor now. A word echoes around inside of me. Fraud. It makes my bones chill. I am the most sincere person. I think he really is, though. Inko doesn't seem to have anything anything under the surface at all. He is, he is exactly what he is. <laughs> There's a genuine faker, liar. They're all bad in different ways, but... Fraud is just dripping with frigid condemnation. No, I swear, I submitted a photograph. Believe me, Ben. Ben, bro, I thought you were my friend. Ben relaxes his shoulders. All right, just making sure. Sorry to alarm you. That was that was really spooky all of a sudden. Maybe I have some shit going on too, Inko. Who knows? <laughs> I say this game is really good. I mean, I've been working on a fully rendered ten character digital painting of this of, for of this during a month now. Cool. Actually, hey, 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 is Hayes is here? Uh, at me at Size Scribbles on Twitter or wherever when you when you <laughs> when you upload it. I want to see it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I don't think it's going to be a hyperfixation, but I am enjoying it. So, I could maybe be convinced to do fan art. Uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's kind of it's kind of scary that he went all gut spring on me there for a second. <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus Christ, Ben. You're going to be alright. Sorry, I, I need some air. Hey, feel free. I'll let Scaler know, okay? Yeah, thanks, Ben. You're definitely not in on this with her, Ben, because she's totally not your mom, Ben. <laughs> but I have been suspecting this since the beginning of the game. No problem. Take it easy. I'm totally not a Machiavellian backstabbing double-crossing bastard. Bye. <laughs> ben offers me an earnest smile, waving at me as he steps out of the room and down the hall. After some time, I follow him shambling down the hall as he tries to make sense of what just happened. I'll look at it after the stream, though, uh, but... Hey, Hayes is here. I do do an art stream on Wednesdays, too, so uh, I, I usually show off people's artwork on that if they ask me to. <laughs> I thought everybody actually liked my photography, but they all thought I was some kind of expert painter instead. I don't even know how to express it. I feel empty. Photography is art. I thought maybe my hard work was finally paying off, but... Dot, dot, dot. I submitted the right entry, so what happened? Maybe it's the brain damage. Did somebody change it? And if so, how? I'm su it was such a good piece, too, that we'll never get to see in the game. What is even... Wait, was the photo he, su was the photo he submitted the, the photo of him getting dunked in the pool? <laughs> was... Yeah, Damien's like a dog. You can get mad that he pissed on the carpet, but you can't be mad at him. Yeah, exactly. That's just what I do, Inko. Just piss on the carpet. <laughs> Don't know any better. I wander aimlessly through the halls. The thought of messy lunch passes through my mind. Oh, but fuck, I pff, skipped that by accident. There's a different sort of emptiness pervading my stomach. Why is this rattling me like this? Man, it's not like I'm in trouble or anything. Ben's helping me sort this out. I'm at a loss of what to even think right now. Thinking is hard. Oh, crap. Olivia mentioned something about server issues before. I couldn't see my submission, but... Was it just that? Maybe Olivia was right to be worried. She, she suspected espionage. Well, duh, why else would I? Would she be so nervous unless she did it? <laughs> My aimless walking leads me outside to the principal's office of the gala. There's only one cityscape painting for the start of the school year. The very painting I, I ever painting I ever saw here, and it's still one of the best. The vibrant cityscape that morphs the rigid structure of urban planning into a soft, inviting utopia, as if viewed from the eyes of a child. The sky above the city, a beautiful shade of crimson with radiant clouds clustered along its length. If the art contest submission was the best painting I've ever seen, then this one comes close. I can only imagine the accolades she must have gotten for the painting back then. You know, for a while I got to have that experience. I got to step in the shoes of an artist much better than myself. Maybe that was the intent? All the praise, approval, everything I've been wanting. Just for a while. 
It was given by an anonymous stranger. Whoever that may be. Actually, this gives me a bit of an idea. If I'm clever, and I know I'm definitely clever, <laughs> and Olivia's up for it, this could be a cool way to get her to show off her painting more. Everyone would like that. Maybe that's what she needs. How did I reach this conclusion? <laughs> I could act as like a personal publisher for her so she doesn't have to deal with people, huh? I'm very good at dealing with people. <laughs> I am extremely good with people. I'm very competent. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Wait a second. Dot, dot, dot. I peel down the empty hallway. I need to find Olivia. She couldn't possibly. But why me? Why would she? You really think she did it? Why would she tell you there was a problem with the website if she did it, stupid? <laughs> Thinking about it only increases my worries and desperation to find who I hope to wreck their Jesus isn't the culprit. I have to really check all the places where Olivia could be because I can't find her anywhere. My hunt for the... The Bionic sends me to the second floor of the atrium. I feel like there's a lead brick in the pit of my stomach as I internalize this, the current situation. I can't even talk. I'm so panicked. Okay. I'm running down the hall. There's mud. Wait a minute. Those look like tracks in the mud. Maybe the culprit was Raptor Jesus all along. I burst through the main entrance doors and I am met with a feeling of droplets hitting my head. Outside, a dark overcast rolled in. The forecast called for an on and off rain during the day, but pretty gnarly clouds. It makes it look almost dusk around. Crap, what am I wasting time for? Didn't I bring an umbrella today? Come on, boy. <laughs> bring out your umbrella! I follow the trail with urgency, fearing that the rain will wash it away. It looks like it goes down the whole pathway. The rain? <laughs> oh, the track, right, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I grow my clothes, becoming progressively damp, and the water collecting on my shades. Eventually, I round the curve that leads to the bridge, and I see a distressing item at its end. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> a wheelchair. Olivia's wheelchair. It's so generic, I would know it anywhere. Empty of the occupant, toppled on its side. A new fear grips me, born for the mental imagery provided by that sight. She crawled into the woods. Crazy bitch, why? <laughs> it's time? It's time for what? No, what's happening? <laughs> Did I fuck up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those cruel thoughts push me up the steps faster than humanly possible as my rational mind tries to reassure me. Am I gonna do like serious acting? Because I don't know how that's gonna. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go down. <laughs> Running across the deck, my breath is caught in my throat. I reach the middle. Oh, okay, she's fine. She did crawl though, I guess, right? She's on the ground, head slumped down. That rhymed. There's a damage and soaked school supplies scattered all over the walkway. Oh god, is she okay? I'm at a key choice ahead. Okay. My foot shifts, trying to try to force me closer. Slowly, her head lifts up to the sound of my shoe, squatching on the floor. Oh, she looks sad! Inko. Her tear-stained eyes stare at me with a dead expression, and her voice sounds weak. What the fuck happened since she went to the bathroom? <laughs> Olivia! I feel like I can finally breathe again. She's at least alive and talking. I slowly, Olivia pushes herself up, and I notice she's lying on top of a pile of paper shredding. Why? <laughs> the feeling of relief slowly fades away, and I remember just why I was looking for her. We stay silent, only staring at each other as the rain continues to bear down on us. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. She simply sits there, letting herself grow more and more soaked from the rain. This is very awkward. Do you... Want to talk? <laughs> no. Not out in the open. Probably, like, not out in the rain, either. Like, go in a building, go to shelter. <laughs> uh, I grab my compact umbrella from my backpack and unfurl it. I knew it would be Chekhov's umbrella! <laughs> it doesn't do much to dry Olivia off, but at least she's not getting more soaked. <laughs> yeah, umbrellas don't dry you. What are you gonna do, twirl it at her really fast until it fans her off? <laughs> the umbrella is placed between us and the elements. I guess we can't fuck. We don't need all this. Here, now we're alone. The umbrella will block out all noise, Olivia. <laughs> we go both on his camera and take some picture of her crying face. Oh, this will be great, Olivia. Hold that pose. <laughs> She's just like, why do I like you? <laughs> all right, you guys are going to have to guide me through difficult decisions. 
This decision literally in terms of the ending will tell me the right one to choose for the ending you guys want. <laughs> it's a SpaceX to Olivia to take a seat. Since I'm only playing once anyway. <laughs> it's odd. We've sat together before, but sitting on the ground in the rain, it's very romantic in a way. And the room is just a little claustrophobic. There's bits of paper melted into the pavement soaked by rain. No torn apart and waterlogged, I can sort of make out. A tree. A rough sketch of one, anyway. Curious. Like the one that stood prominently in my false submission. So you did do it! Why did you tell me about it? Inko, please, I can explain. I know this seems really fucking weird, because it is. I didn't have a choice. What? <laughs> Why would you not have a choice? I know what I did was wrong, but I didn't have any other way. It wasn't a choice to not trick me! She avoids looking at me, focusing on the scraps of paper scattered on the floor like confetti. It wasn't to trick you, I just... <sighs> I'm just crazy, that's all. I'm batshit crazy, Inko. I get it, you're mad at me. I'm not mad, I'm just very, very confused. <laughs> exactly! I'm just confused. I thought we were friends, Olivia. I thought we were friends. I thought we were kind of flirting a little bit, too. Come on. I wasn't expecting it. Expecting you. I wasn't expecting a dumb himbo to come into my life and sweep me off my feet. <laughs> she pauses to give her throat some respite. Her usual water bottle isn't anywhere nearby. She can just lick the pavement. A shaky breath escapes her mouth. When you came around... I thought you were no different than the others. I mean, you're, you're human, so you're different, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought you were some self-centered, pretentious midwit who only cares about his image. Instead, you're a self-centered, pretentious midwit who's a photography bro, but it's different. <laughs> That's when I got the idea of using you to swap out your art with mine. But why? <laughs> Everyone knows he's a photographer! You didn't seem like the kind of person who cared about how he gets attention from others, just that he gets it. Her description of my character feels really reductive, but... The ache in my chest tells me it hit a little too close to home. But, Olivia, I have my jacket! My jacket makes me cool, Olivia! Doesn't it? But that's not what I think of you now. Oh, but she she must have done this like a week ago, though. <laughs> Ray's gonna say, that. why the fuck did you do it? Hmm? Idakin's the one person I can trust. So when he went to bat for you, saying we'd make good friends, I was worried. <laughs> like, I thought he lost his fucking mind. Like, maybe I can't even trust him anymore. <laughs> What's so special about this guy? Honestly, I got scared he'd be wrong. That you'd be just like everyone else, and I'd be setting myself up for failure. But worse than that, Inko, I was afraid he'd be right, and have to face what I'd done to myself. You know, being a- being an edgy loner, <laughs> there's no going back, Inko! <laughs> and now I've gone and done something like this. Switching my contest entry! She nods, swallowing hard. I wasn't thinking. I just was being really immature and wanted to bully the guy I have a crush on. <laughs> suddenly everything was out of balance, everything I'd created, all my work, my own little world was suddenly changing and I had no control of it. I just had to do something. I had to do something shitty. <laughs> I didn't know I was doing that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still very confused why, why this was your choice. <laughs> you could have just pushed me down the stairs, Olivia. <laughs> she stops to process my words and continues. I knew I'd get caught. It's stupid. I was hoping for it even. Someone to figure out how that was... <laughs> Someone to figure out that it... It was swapped so I would be changed and everyone else would be none the wiser. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't understand that sentence very well. It turns our face to be a silver eyes well with tears. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. I don't hate you, I'm just still very confused. <laughs> I just don't want to go back to being the person I used to be. The person who didn't care about hurting you. What? You were like that? Her head tilts downward with a violent hitch for breath. Ivory claws extend and grip at her knees in a painful display, yet Olivia chokes back any sound she'd make. 
Her body shudders with every heavy breath from her, and I realize that every last defensive barrier she had was completely gone! For real this time! Olivia's laid herself bare, leaving only the crying girl desperately trying to silence her pitiful tears. Uh... Okay, guys, I don't want to get locked out of the good ending. What do I say? <laughs> Tell me, chat! I don't mind cheating a little bit if it's for everybody's enjoyment. <laughs> Ask why? Oh, Kai's already said that, okay? Yeah, I, I do I do want to know why, because I'm like... Because I'm like, I'm still, I'm still confused at her motivation. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself for thinking this, but... Am I? She still hasn't really told me why she did it. I, I am still extremely confused. I don't want to push the issue too hard, but if not now, when? I just want to know, why go through all the trouble? What were you trying to accomplish? Like, really, Olivia, what, what the fuck was even your end goal here? <laughs> I immediately regret my words as the pain grimace on her face drives home the mistakes she's made. Oh no! Are you sure this was the right choice? Maybe I'm helping her grow. Even if I'm the right to ask. Even if I'm, even if I'm in the right to ask, it feels like a villain for pressing her. She's so sad and whoopy like But out of respect for Olivia's feelings, I stand steady because to back down would be to denigrate her like all those people in her past had done. I am such a noble lad. I might be really stupid. I might be a himbo, but I am noble and just. <laughs> I wanted to see what people thought of my art without knowing that I was the one who made it. Why would you want that? I just do not get it. I do not get mental illness. I have not enough of a brain to be mentally ill. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's always the same thing. I just keep getting more high-pitched with her, but it's just so much easier to switch between the two voices that way. <laughs> her voice takes a deeper pitch. Oh, wow, you're so talented in spite of your condition. Oh, yeah, well, I think a lot of people can relate to that, even if it's not, even if it's not, like, being a paraplegic, even if it's, like, you know, you know, mental faculty issues, you know, I'm autistic, I understand. <laughs> this time it's a higher, shriller tone. Well, good, good thing I was getting higher pitched anyway. Well, I think she's mentally ill on top of everything else, but, I mean... <laughs> Amazing! It's like you aren't disabled at all! I mean, why would my lower legs not working affect my fucking ability to paint? People are fucking stupid! Our vice retard is this time weighed down with contempt. For all their kind words, it always comes back to those empty platitudes. I never felt like they cared about me or my interests. It's always just blind praise because I'm doomed to never measure up to the same level of expectations. Well, I think we were joking. I think we were joking before that Inko and Olivia, especially the way I play them, are like at the opposite ends of the autism spectrum. <laughs> I agree. The worst of it came when I found out I couldn't even fail on my own. The sound of her talents tearing more paper on the floor enhances her hated words. Even when I intentionally do something wrong, someone's always there to pick up after me and assure it's good in certain lights. She rips more of a page off every sentence. These are just old sketches from through the year. Nobody else has to live with that paranoia. Every positive word spoken and action taken to help you is just out of someone acting out of obligation or insecurity. It got so bad that at one point, I was almost being forced to accept these freaking accommodations. I just ended up... She dropped what little remains of the pages unceremoniously. Cutting everyone out. I'm very depressed, Inko. <laughs> I'm into that depressed girl core. It's very attractive to me. I'm never going to come out on top. And I'm never going to be allowed to fail. Nobody's allowed to feel anything pity for me when they meet me. And guilt when they even consider not just... Yeah. Guilt when they even consider not just giving me a free pass. I'm very upset. I can't talk. <laughs> Nobody has any agency. And that's just how things are. The bell rings from a distance, signaling the end of lunch, but I don't care. I'm with my gator. Within my mind, I can vividly imagine the sounds of our classmates grumbling complaints as they shuffle the class. Inko's a himbo, but he's also an empath. <laughs> yes, you are correct. <laughs> Even if he's an empath in, like, the most analytical, literal way. <laughs> I'm reading people's facial expressions to see what they're thinking. <laughs> 
Instead, I choose to listen to the rain, how the soft pitter-patter of droplets land atop my umbrella before slipping gently to the ground around us. Internalizing that sound alongside the dimmer ambience and overall wetness has turned the tiny park I'm accustomed to into a near-alien locale. I wonder to myself if this is why Olivia came out here. In a small way of... Small way, all of her work seems to revolve around average places, but altered with a natural and beautiful overlayings. Creating from the familiar, yet adding the fantastical. Like she's an impressionist. I look over to Olivia, who also seems to be lost in thought. Linko, Inko's locked in. We're locked in, everybody! We're locked in! <coughs> Just make sure I don't fuck it up. <laughs> that does sound pretty tough. You're going to be alright? I have no idea what it's like to be disabled. He thinks he's normal. Poor Inko. <laughs> no, honestly, that's only the start of it. But I don't want to... No, you wanted to know, right? I want to tell someone. Anyone. Please tell me what your batshit crazy motivations are, Olivia. <laughs> right now it's just Idekin. I'm sure he's sick of it. All right. This crap even affects my family, in quotes, because I'm still being that kind of bitch. <laughs> you say that like you don't think they are. They aren't, though. I can't change that. She sighs. You're right. I mean, they could adopt you, Olivia. I should be a bit more grateful to them, but at the same time, it's... Well, that's true. She doesn't really have control over anything that happens to her, does she? That's tough for a teenager. Because you're, like, on the cusp of adulthood, but if you don't have, like, any, like, personal responsibilities or, or any independence, it could be really hard. But... Like, I know all too fucking well I could just hang out at the pains for as long as I need to after graduation. They're just too nice to not... They're just too nice to not... And the arrangement with my actual father could probably last indefinitely. Okay, so she does have at least one parent. I could just detach from society and leech off everyone around me forever. And it'll still be just pity and guilt. But I- but you saw them at the pool party! They love you! I know! I know, and I hate it! And I want to love them back, but I just can't! Not now! I'm an angsty teenager! <laughs> with a lot of problems! I've already wasted so much. Who I am to who am I to suddenly turn around in my last year? How dare you come into my life and make me want to be better, Inko? <laughs> you stupid bastard! Kiss me! <laughs> I just want to get out of their hair. Not to waste their time anymore. Otherwise, I'll be the one hurting them. Wasting all their patience and kindness for years like I already have. And I'd never be in the wrong. Who the fuck wants a free ride through life like that? I don't know, that sounds pretty sweet, Olivia! <laughs> I would like that! And that's all I have waiting for me, realistically. Damn it, why am I telling you all this? It's like your blank fucking face just makes me want to tell you things. <laughs> yeah, stop making me a better person, Inko! How dare you come into my life and improve it! You fucking motherfucker! <laughs> Olivia clutches her throat, her voice had gotten straightened and weak. It hurts to speak at all, but she's just been letting it all out. Hell, what am I doing just watching? I'm such an idiot! It's not like my voice actor has been interjecting this entire time. I rub it through the insides of my backpack again. Don't take a picture of her, Inko. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I assume that's what he's about to do. Say cheese, Olivia! This will cheer you up! It's not like I want you to improve my life or anything, skinny. <laughs> ah, there it is. Well, I got a water bottle. I offered to her. Okay, I'm being sensible for once. I am Inko. She eyes it on the ground indifferently and then goes to drink it. The whole bottle is finished in one go, and then she drops it in the growing pile of trash. It's so romantic! <laughs> Hi, PB Pixel. <laughs> yes, I am trying to be at least a little serious with my voice acting, but I can't help myself. <laughs> Thanks. I give a silent nod. Silent and stoic and manly. She looks off into the distance again, picking up her train of thought. That's why I had to do it. It's still not really a good explanation, but I'm just fucking crazy. <laughs> I had to know if I was really good at something for once. You could have just asked me to help you in this shenanigan, Olivia. I probably would have. <laughs> really genuinely good. No false praise, no parasocial relationships where I'm verbally fellated so everybody can just feel better for it. I had to know my art was real. That I could do- that I could be something for real. That I have a real way out. Idekin assures me all the time it's good enough. Fuck, why don't I just listen to him? Probably because he's really annoying. 
He probably knows everything by now anyways. He usually does. He's a nosy bastard. <laughs> Honestly, taking all this in at once is challenging to digest, to say the least. I am trying to listen very intently right now. I am trying to let this go into my ear and not out the other. You said you expected to get caught, though. I mean, well, how the fuck couldn't you? I was going to notice immediately that my name was not the thing. <clears throat> yeah, I said I wanted to be. I wasn't even sure other people would see it. You caught it fast enough and switched it back, thinking it was a bug. And you started getting all this praise out of nowhere. Yeah, I did. Seems a bit sad in retrospect. <laughs> yeah. Around then, it really settled just how badly I messed up. Seeing that smile on your stupid face, thinking you were actually getting praised for something for once, I felt kind of bad. I tried to get you to notice it by, sh by showing me the submission yourself. Then you just go to the office and get a change. Nobody would get hurt. End of story. But of course, you still had your own save. You're always just so prepared for everything. You gesture to the crushed water bottle. The weeks go by, you get more praise, I get more nervous. And to then today, and... Olivia's hands finally fell into her lap, limp and spent. Well, she I guess she couldn't start it, yeah. Stop it, rather. <clears throat> Here we are, in the rain, on the hard ground. With the chat assuring me this is the right way to go. <laughs> it's my turn to say something, I guess. Say something. Say something very intelligent, Inko. I just don't know how to process all this. It's not like friendships come with instructions. I wish they did. I'm very autistic. My own thoughts are muddled, pushing me to find some way to comfort the girl before me. This is going to sound the wrong language, but choose to let her fail for the good ending. Fail at what? <laughs> at life? Alright, I'm probably going to wrap up. I'm probably going to wrap up after this scene. Because it's getting a little late, but I have been doing this weekly. Uh, Hayes is here. Uh, same day, same time. So. <laughs> and yet to comfort her would be to demean her like the people have done in the past. It's so confusing and I should just get up and sing Loser Baby to her. <laughs> You're a loser, baby. A loser, goddamn baby. <laughs> You're a fucked up little whiny bitch. <laughs> you think, but fly, you big fly, think. Frustration and pity mix haphazardly in my stomach. It's nauseating. Pity for the girl before me that has wronged me, but not out of real malice. More just out of really confusing teenage angst. Frustration at myself because Olivia was right, having unveiled the uglier side of me I wasn't aware of. I just want attention. The attention my parents never give me, dot, dot, dot. Uh, let her fail? Okay. Oh, okay. The choice was coming up, okay? <laughs> Um, well, that's right. She wanted to, she wanted to have consequences for her actions like a normal person, right? PV Pixel, I told them all I'm only going to play this game once, so they want me to get the good ending, so I don't care as long as it's, whatever is most fun for chat and me, we will do. <laughs> Let her fail. My thoughts line on what Olivia said early on the conversation. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that's why she did this, because she wants to actually get in trouble for something on her own terms. As contradictory as that sounds, I kind of understand that. You know? You're going to tell Principal Scaler? Go turn yourself in, Olivia! <clears throat> Olivia flinches a bit. The Principal? Why? About what you did? You said you expected to get caught. Well, I can't tell them officially anything but that. Why not? Olivia shifts on Carpenter's player spot. Because it would be... Yeah, it would probably be embarrassing and hard to go through, but it's what you fucking wanted, wasn't it? <laughs> Why not? If they found out, it's so Jover, Inko. <laughs> Isn't that a bit extreme? It's not like they're gonna expel you, maybe? I don't know. How does dinosaur school work? Honestly, it'll be the end for you, too. I'm taking you down with me, bitch. <laughs> it's my turn to flinch. Treat her like everybody else and dump her for her betrayal. <laughs> I am like everyone else, Olivia. Goodbye. <laughs> it's Oblivion over. It's Inko over. It's Inko over. <laughs> Olivia's getting worked up again. A new fear starts spiking through her eyes. I can just pick her up and carry her to the principal's office and make her confess. <laughs> I don't need to ask. Olivia answers anyways. You didn't talk about it until now, after it's nearly guaranteed to win. 
the stakes. It looked like you were complicit. Or worse, like it was your idea. No, I will tell them I'm a very stupid man and didn't know what was going on. You'd be a fraud. There's that word again. That's my trigger word, Olivia! Just like Hot Wheels is for you! Fraud. No, no. That word, all over my record in senior year? Surely future employers will look at my permanent record from high school. That's what they've always told me. But I'm about to have to fight a career. Fraud. Fraud! But even so, isn't it the right thing to do? I... I can handle it. Don't worry about me. Oh! Oh, I'm hugging that gator! It happened! <laughs> it happened! Or the gator hugged me! <laughs> Please, Inko, no! There's more! What else did you do? I told you I'm not eligible to even enter! I already won before! I got notoriety and money! The winning piece is featured on the cover of Ocaria Monthly and even gets an article! That's more than a scholarship, it's a foot in the door! <laughs> I guess I'm being clung to by that gator. Close enough. But Olivia! A scholarship is way better than getting an article in some shitty local magazine about your fucking high school painting. What are you talking about? <laughs> if the choice is between getting a shitty article in a local magazine and getting a scholarship, you should get the scholarship! <laughs> Why is no one guiding this child? <laughs> They can't do anything about the money. It's long gone. But if everyone knows what I did, and it gets into those magazines, you know, those local magazines that nobody reads. He clutches the sleeves of her hoodie and stares me dead in the eye. It's 2023, Inko. People still read magazines. At least they do in Dinosaur Land. Well, she already has the scholarship, so what the fuck is she talking about? Who cares? I think it's supposed to be like Vol- Vol- Caldera. Vol- <coughs> Vol- Caldera. I can never fucking pronounce it. Monthly's like the New York Times. Okay, right, well, okay, maybe that's a little bit bigger. <coughs> she said magazine, though. You've heard plenty of times if it's between the choice between study or experience, take the experience. Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of- a lot of art world is networking to- I mean, I'm a college dropout. <laughs> what do I know? But- <laughs> she clutches the sleeves of her hoodie and stares me dead in the eye. I... I need it to graduate. I fucking hate it, but I need it. Hmm? It's my only way out. It's my only way to actually go somewhere. You're putting all your eggs into one basket. There's no other baskets. There isn't even a basket, Inko. Look at my life. <laughs> I just can't risk it. I know. I just carried on about why does nobody let me fail but this? But I don't want to actually fail, Inko. I'm being very selfish right now. <laughs> it's serious. I can't know. Please, Inko. I can't lose everything over this mistake. I just can't. Can't we just say it was a server error and, <laughs> and switch the names? I can't dot dot dot. Ron dot dot dot. God dot that. But, but it isn't. Olivia grabs the sides of my jacket and yanks herself close. Oh, am I gonna kiss that gator? This isn't quite a hug yet either. <laughs> I don't think. This is more like grappling that gator. The motion tips the umbrella over and it slides a few feet away into the breeze. Now we're getting all wet on the ground together. Ooh. <laughs> it makes her almost lose her balance and fall over onto me. <clears throat> Press H. You wanna see the whole picture? Oh, you wanted to see that tail, PB Pixel. You wanted to see that tail? Is that, is that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Our breathing is erratic. Death roll. Inko, listen to me. Stop fucking wrestling me on the ground, you freak. Please, I can't lose this. I can't be doomed to be nothing. It's all I have. All I have is a high school art contest. Isn't that fucking pathetic? <laughs> the gator has been subdued. <laughs> I can't go to someone about this. I'm begging you. Well, it's not like you can follow me if I go to tell on you, Olivia. You can stay here in the rain. Are you sure this was the right choice? <laughs> She's tugging me toward the ground, closer to her. My jacket's starting to tear. Oh, 
It's, I don't know. It's, it, am I making it to second base? <laughs> I can feel her anxiety about how her hands are quivering with fear as I grip tightly at my coat. It's my fault, okay? Not yours. You don't need to make it your problem. Please. Mm, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Nobody else has to know. I thought I was letting her fail! I haven't played many visual novels, PB Pixel. It's not a genre I usually play. Uh, I was telling Kaiser, who bought this game for me, that I wouldn't play this game on my own. I like That's why I like playing it with an audience. It's more fun that way. <laughs> you are Snoot vs. Expert. That's right. I need to trust Hayes here. And possibly Kaiser. I can't always trust Kaiser, but... <laughs> Yeah, right. Go become a rich, wealthy, furry artist, Olivia. You'll be fine. <laughs> Even Kuga has me drawn like fucking furries for money right now. It finally happened to me. <laughs> It'll have to be our little secret. We have a secret between us now, Olivia. I have leverage! <laughs> Olivia exhales and let's go. I drop her on the ground unceremoniously. <laughs> All at once, she slumps down. I have to hold up my arms to stop myself from falling, too. Olivia ends up slumped over my lap sideways. Ooh, things are escalating. <sighs> hey, are you okay? No, I'm really not. The gator girl tries to push herself up from my lap. Her attempt only ended up with her twisting on my legs and turning her face and chest upward. Am I getting another lewd shot? <laughs> she must be really exhausted, as even her attempt to blow her wet hair from her face is unsuccessful. It's... Far too saturated with water. God damn it, is this what it's all come to? Crying in the rain with you? <laughs> I got away with it too. Fuck, I'm just like Ben. Ah, about to learn that Ben is a baby back bitch? Oh, sorry everybody, uh, redeeming tomatoes tonight. I turned off, I thought I, well, I guess it didn't turn off for the chat, but I turned off the, the two, uh, the two apps that let people throw shit at the screen for tonight. But next time on, uh, the weekly art stream, you'll be able to throw tomatoes at me again. So you can redeem them then. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more choice? Okay, we'll do one more choice tonight. Jesus, is this like just a choice have you seen right here? The game didn't even like the game the game didn't even give me like I don't have lewd I don't have lewd turned on anyway. I was just joking. <laughs> even though the loot shot guys are showing me isn't even that bad. It's like it's like fucking PG thirteen. It's really not that bad. <laughs> do you have the energy to get up? Not yet crawled over here, you fucking asshole. Olivia. Mm. What's wrong with Ben? How are you like him? I mean, he's a fucking nerd, Olivia. <laughs> don't, don't, don't compare yourself to him. She excels hard. Game? Game, did you freeze? Game, did you freeze? <laughs> the game froze for some reason. I'm just waiting on it. We just have B on the screen. <laughs> Uh, it's all his fault. <laughs> okay. Ben! That was Ben, not B. Ben! It's all his fault. He made me do this. I don't know why it froze on that line for some reason. If you choose wrong, the scene ends. Okay, so I guess I'm, I'm doing good. All of it! He crippled me! <laughs> no, you guys all told me she was born like this. More sci fan art! <gasps> I did say I'll show off art next week on the art stream, so you, you can show me that or just uh, send it to me on, on Tumblr or Twitter or something. <laughs> it's not for him, I wouldn't be this thing. You wouldn't be in a wheelchair? Did Ben push you in front of a car? Some worthless heap, unable to do anything with nothing and nobody. None of this would have happened. This sounds like something I shouldn't be prying into. This seems to happen a lot in my friend group. You don't need to tell me. I will remain oblivious, Olivia. That's how you like me. Yeah, I don't. But I did this to you. I should be honest. Can you get off my legs first? They're falling asleep. <laughs> that is what he was saying. God damn it. <laughs> you too? <laughs> That's funny because your legs don't work. Fine. Can you help me up at least? I take Olivia's shoulder and help her back into a sitting position by me. Okay, we're back under the umbrella. We're back at the screen. Everything's okay. She leans back against my shoulder. We have a half... <laughs> Inko, Ben, 
He had a crowbar? <laughs> he went Nancy Kerrigan on my ass! <laughs> Oh god. I think everybody in the chat is probably too young to even get that reference. <laughs> I am Inko, yes, I am Inko. We are all Inko. My kneecap's Inko. He's he shattered my kneecap. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. I guess it's fine for now. What do we even start? I'm about to dump all of the group's drama on you, Inko. You better be ready. And I have to do it in this voice. That Ben, quote-unquote? It's not even his real name. It's, it's Bedford. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how remember how we became friends. He just He's just one of those hangers-on who kind of shows up in your group and never leaves. We definitely hung out a lot in my last year of middle school. He didn't care that I was in the chair. He didn't treat me any different. He was cool. He was actually cool as, like, a 12-year-old. <laughs> now he's a bitch. <laughs> What's the issue, then? She's getting there, Inko! Oh, yeah, bops my chin with her skull. I deserve that. Let me finish! He was cool. Now he's a big fucking nerd who looks like Otacon from Metal Gear. <laughs> but in freshman year, back then, Ben was, the, was only in the student council as a secretary. Can you believe it? I was looking forward to that yearly art show. Worked all summer on the perfect piece, Dreamscape. Disdain was heavy in her- <laughs> I had to change voices there for a second. Disdain was heavy in her tone as she said its name. Yeah, it won. It wasn't supposed to. Once again, her eyes were teary, though with rage this time. My mouth clicked shut as she glared at me. Her eyes closed and her tone was once again sorrowful. Then started advertising himself as my friend. Like it was some part of his own personality. A sigh that escapes her carries years of repressed anger. Even his friends started doing it too. Like being around me was an act of charity that made them better. He eventually told me straight up, I'll give him that. Wow, he actually just said it to your face? Like I'm only friends with you because you're crippled and talented and it makes me look good? God damn. <laughs> God damn, Ben! I know, the way he's been acting, I kind of believe it. <coughs> It's like, you've only known this guy for a month, Inko, so... <laughs> Her voice shifted again, but this time, instead of a voice to lampoon someone, it was an eerie facsimile to Ben. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do Olivia doing an impression of Ben. How the fuck is this gonna come out? <laughs> I'm universally down on my luck. <laughs> Good enough. Not even a week later, people started walking up to give praise to my submission. It was the first time in a while I'd gotten a compliment for my work. I thought my submission was going to win. It was exciting. Until Damien showed me an article in the school newsletter written by a certain student council secretary. Half of it was basic crap about the art submissions. The other half was about me. Ben had written the longest segment about the talented poor girl in the wheelchair and practically worshipped me for my determination. Surprise, surprise, it wins by a landslide. Even when my piece won, all I could remember was that feeling of just being handed victory as charity. This sounds like it could have been a misunderstanding, though. Like, maybe he was trying to help her, but he didn't realize how it was going to make her feel. Or or he had some kind of, um, he had some kind of ulterior motive. We'll see. Okay, y'all know that video of the guy getting a We Buy Junk car sitting on his windshield? He goes, oh man, what's wrong with my car? <laughs> so you imagine Inko. <laughs> yeah. My whole summer, all that effort, just overshadowed. And for what? A safety net I didn't earn. I really thought I was going to thank- He really thought I was going to thank him. That's the worst part, honestly. He came up to me, telling me what a big favor he did for me. And you know, how he's an advocate and an activist. And he has my best interests in mind. <laughs> and that I, I need- I need to use my crippled identity. <laughs> That's representation. And then he's, he's got a, he's an intern at a company called Sweet Baby Inc. <laughs> he called her the C word, a cripple. Only they can use that word. Yeah, that's our word. <laughs> as if I would, as if I would, after using me as a stepping stone to climb the social ladder. I couldn't take it anymore. I told him to get out of my life. And he just gave me this look. I'll never forget it. Is this why, is this why bitch tits hates her? Mia, is this why Mia hates her? I mean, she's still a bitch, but... 
Genuine confusion, like I was an alien for being upset. Oh god, he is... He is one of those... He is one of those, like... Like, ignorantly benevolent people. Like, like upper-middle-class people who think they're helping the poor minorities. And they're just... They're just... They're just condescending motherfuckers. <laughs> Go watch my video on Sweet Baby Ink. I have a good... I have a good clip! I have a good clip from the boys in it that illustrates my point. <laughs> But what he said? This is your only chance of succeeding out there. Why did you listen to Ben? He's a loser! I just wanted to give it all up. He calls her differently abled. I bet he fucking does. I bet he fucking does. <laughs> but by then, the money, the exposure, his fucking safety net. I just took it. He was right. He was right and I hate it. I really, really fucking hate it. So that's what's between Ben and Olivia. This explains a lot of the behaviors I've been seeing around my friends. I figured it was something, but jeesh. Jeesh, Raptor Jesus. After that, I just couldn't. I just couldn't fucking care anymore about anything. I just, I just gave up. I gained like 30 pounds. I stopped brushing my hair. I shut everything out. Everyone out. Everyone was fake. Everyone didn't want to know me. Just what I exist as, even my own family. Hell, it's all his fault, all of it. I don't know if it's all this one nerdy little kid's fault, but he sure didn't help. You shouldn't feel bad for your disability, you should be proud. You're so brave. You're so brave for being what you are. Oh my god. He then calls Olivia non walking individual. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you gotta think of other, like, really stupid names. Person of Wheeled Conveyance is probably what he calls her. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Well? Well, what? You, you heard my tragic backstory. Don't you have any fucking comments? That's it. That's the truth. I just want to graduate and get away from here, from him. He ruined my life. Because of him, I'm not Olivia. I'm Olivia, the poor, sad cripple. That title is forever fixed to my name. Honey, high school isn't the whole world. I, I assure you, anyone who's really young out there right now, high school does not matter after you graduate. <laughs> it really, really doesn't. And the people it still matters to are, are a little sad. <laughs> Anyone in their 30s and 40s still talking about high school gets weird looks, I assure you. <laughs> Come on, that's not true! I don't see you like that at all! I see you as a gator I want to hug! You're right, it's not. You're Olivia. No, that's also not it. I'm not Olivia, I'm God's funniest joke. Hmm, that's an interesting title you've given yourself. I nudge the umbrella back over us. It goes back into its spot, propped up between us, recreating the canopy, shielding us from the elements. And if we were both weeaboos, we would take some meaning away from being under the same umbrella, but luckily we're not! <laughs> but they don't allow humans uh, humans at the school for a bit because they might cause a microaggression. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> <clears throat> Olivia looks at me to gauge a reaction. That was the sort of speech given by someone that's had years to think about it and hold it in. And it was one she's been waiting to give to anyone willing to listen. If she could just trust them. I'm good at listening! I'm not very good at speaking, though. All of her pent-up angst against the guy that ruined her life. Or at least at the moment she couldn't just take it anymore. Why do you two still hang out? I don't understand! <clears throat> it can't get much worse than this for her, but she trusts me. Dot dot dot, say something brilliant, Hinko. What she needs to hear right now is... Uh-oh. What does she need to hear? What does she need to hear, guys? <laughs> Tell me! Tell Inko what to say! We are all Inko, so you guys also get a say in what I say. <laughs> <clears throat> Take back the reins. Get back up on that horse, Olivia! <laughs> Raptor Jesus laughs above her. <laughs> oh, dear mistakes! Oh, dear mistakes! Okay, second one. We're gonna get the best ending, guys. 
Yeah, because I don't want a friend zoner. <laughs> we want to hug that gator. <laughs> I take my sunglasses off. Oh, this is very intimate. I'm taking my sunglasses off. I'm miming it in real life, even though you guys can't see it. <laughs> I take my sunglasses off and lean forward, placing a hand on her shoulder. I'll be a good friend. No, I didn't pick that option. You're in both the Twitch and YouTube chat. We have another double agent. She takes a moment to register the new site and looks right at me, anticipating whatever I'm about to say. You're not a joke, Olivia. I am with this voice, but you are not. I appreciate you trying and all, but it doesn't matter. The damage has been done. I'm damaged, Inko. I'm sad and damaged. Why would you like me? I'm all sad and cute and damaged and crying in the rain. Why is? Why would you ever like me? All that shit is what made me into a nihilist. You're not a nihilist, you're just depressed. <laughs> Plus, I don't think that's what the word means. You still enjoy some things. But that's, that's, nihilism doesn't mean you don't enjoy anything either, though. It just means you accept there is no meaning in the world. <sighs> Got a better word? Pessimist? Perhaps realist? Uh, yeah, I'm attracted to broken girls, Olivia. Hmm. Well, there you go. I'm just gonna say nihilist because I'm a, I'm a fucking high schooler who's just throwing around words I don't really understand. <laughs> That's besides the point. Ben did something horrible. But he didn't take your agency. You have plenty of that. You go barreling down the hallway and run over people and, you know, you have tons of agency. <clears throat> Are you saying that I ruined my own life? Is that it? Oh, yeah. You're a spitfire creature, Olivia. <laughs> Annoyance bubbles up within me as soon as she argues back. She wanted to get caught in the act. Yet Olivia looks at me as if I just spat her face. She's a, she's almost like she's got teenage mood swings. <clears throat> just what the hell are you getting at, Inko? It's not like I like you or anything, Babaka. What am I getting at? What am I even saying? What am I doing here under this umbrella with this gator girl? What has my life become? <laughs> I got the, I have the tattoo on my forehead, Inko. I'm damaged. You see how it says damage on my forehead? I'm totally, I'm totally damaged. I'm into broken girls, both internally and physically. The fact that... You can't keep using Ben's shitty choices as a crutch. You need to use your wheelchair as a wheelchair instead. I, I, I don't understand metaphors. Her breath catches. You need to take responsibility for your own life, who you are, and what you want to be. I mean, yeah, that's actually pretty good general advice. Even if it can be hard to hear in the moment, that is good general advice, I will say. My words catch Olivia off guard. She wasn't expecting my himbo ass to give such an intelligent response. They keep coming, unbidden now. I cannot shut up! You say that you're a nihilist, yet you draw these amazing pieces that reflect these realistic fantasy worlds. And you say that no one wants to know you for you, but you know you have the pains, Idakin, Liz, me, unless Liz is also a backstabbing bitch than not Liz. <laughs> Can you really blame any of that on Ben? I was kind of hoping I would have to suss out who the culprit was, though, because my, my first instinct was Liz, because she had access to my account, but... <laughs> the mystery was solved immediately, so maybe I wasn't supposed to, like, go, go around interrogating my friends. Can you really blame any of that on Ben? I mean, really, it's Ben, Olivia. It's Ben. Think about it for a minute. Even the art contest. Ben didn't yank some evil string of fate to make you swap out the submission. You did that yourself. I'm still very confused at what you thought was going to happen here. I know it's hard. I have trouble with this too, but... Please, for all of us, for all of our sakes, Olivia, for God's sakes, take responsibility for your feelings. Oh, shit. Damn it, mouth! My tirade has left Olivia staring at me, mouth hung open and gasped at what I just said. I sound like a... I sound like a scolding father. Probably not the most romantic mood. Dot, dot, dot. I fucked this up forever. I'm just gonna switch schools again. I hit some realization and try to backtrack. Oh, God. Fuck you. What did he try to say? <laughs> he tried to say something. Well, uh, well, can I hug you first before we get to the fucking Olivia? <laughs> Stopping completely, Olivia's head raises from my shoulder and she glares at me. Her eyes are heartbroken, they're enraged, they're looking for something to lash out on. I hope the chat wasn't lying to me about the path to take. <laughs> but they're trusting. Okay, I think I think this is the right way. Fuck you. For being right. I know all that, damn it. And you're the second to say it. 
Her eyes water and her head returns to my shoulder. Oh, I, oh I'm getting I'm getting clawed at again. It's almost a hug. Let's have a better look at that. Yes. I, uh, come on, this is close to a hug, isn't it? She's hugging me at least. But we're not hugging her. Olivia's got daddy issues. We know she has a dad. We don't know if she has a mom. Damn it, damn it, Alinko. Damn it, you fucking lovable himbo, you. I'm stunned as she presses further against me, even using her arms to tuck her legs closer. Ooh. You and Ida can head... Fine. You're right, but... How do I start? I have no idea what I should do. I'm a fucking teenager. <laughs> this is too much. Her voice sounds so weak, but there's conviction headed within it. Honestly, she should have just mauled me for what I just said. She's kind of mauling me right now. Those claws are really sharp. That's what she wants. I can do this. I can do this. You can do it, Inko. Um, what do you think is wrong right now? Like, what? what is your first thought of what is wrong with you? <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> Damn it, Inko. Fuck you. Just kiss me already, you stupid himbo. I'm about to the scene. Okay, we'll probably wrap up after this scene. <laughs> You'll have to be more specific. All right. What about Damien and his family? He hums in thought. And then there's Liz, too. All of them would probably like to hear your thoughts. Go shit talk Ben to all of them. We'll, we'll gang up on him like a posse. Yeah. What would I say, though? Whatever you're feeling? <laughs> like me, Olivia. Just babble whatever you're feeling. Clearly, that helps you make friends. <laughs> Just be more open in general would be something. I can feel her frowning. But I also nod against my shoulder. I almost went into Olivia's voice for some reason. Fine, what else? Mr. Eidekin? She scoffs. He probably already knows. What are you think? What you're thinking? Yeah, he raised me like a book. But he'd... But he'd probably like to hear you say it. Yeah, he would. He would like that. Put him in a verbal wheelchair, Olivia. <laughs> Put Ben in a verbal wheelchair. See how he likes it. And? And me too. You got your turn. You've told me just now, but I'd like to hear more about you. You're my friend. I'm still kind of friend zoning you here. All right. Starting now. I could feel her rumbling growl before she sighs. I'm sorry, Inko. For all the shit I've put you through since you got here, I've been kind of sundiary towards you a lot. <laughs> for being a really shitty friend. For having having to put up with me. I chose to be your friend, Olivia. You don't need to apologize for that. Remember remember that time I stared at you all through class? I was very interested. <laughs> Olivia looks up at me through the corner of her eye. Ben can't take your agency, and you can't take mine. Now get off of me! <laughs> I'm choosing this. <laughs> You're silly. Her words were strained and not from lack of water. The regret in her voice was raw. She regrets liking me. <laughs> you think Inko has blue eyes? I don't think he has any eyes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Inko blinks. <laughs> he just stares unblinkingly. Along with the honesty. Thanks. And I forgive you. And once again, silence. I fumble with my sunglasses, debating whether I should bother with them. Given the ring. Might as well. I mean, I'm still wearing them in the fucking... <laughs> Cutscene, but <laughs> might as well. I guess they are prescription after all. We lay back, listening to the patter of the rain against our little tent. It's her and I, secluded from the world that's done so much to cross her. You find even jogger just goes by as they're sitting there. <laughs> dot dot dot. And she's really leaning against me. It's making me feel things. I crane my neck so I can turn and look at her. She looks so at peace now, even with the smeared mascara and wet hair. She wears mascara! <laughs> Why does she have running mascara in the in the drawing? That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm starting to lose feeling on my arm, though. And watching her like this is... Snurk. Was that a snore? Oh, she went to sleep. I guess she would be pretty tired after all that emotional unleashing. It's been a long day for both of us. Even if it's only fourth period. <laughs> Did I do all right? Maybe we shouldn't sleep out here in the rain, though. Things turned out pretty okay, but I'm anxious. The best I can do is be there for her. In this case, it's letting her have my shoulder for a bit while my arm falls asleep. Pressed up against me. My eyes slide closed, and I try to lose myself in the pitter-patter of rainfall. We are really just going to take a nap. 
on the wet fucking pavement in the rain. <laughs> okay. Dot, dot, dot. How can you get tired when you're cold and soaking wet? I know, for an alligator, maybe it would be normal, but for Inko, I don't know. I think he's just dumb. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Oh my god. Not like I like you or anything, Babaka. <laughs> Olivia jerks herself up and starts coughing into her fist. Fuck. Uh, how long? About five minutes, probably. Jeez, I'm sorry. You know, I remember when you got you got on to me for just sitting near you back at the party, and now you can't keep your hands off of me, Olivia. <laughs> Waggle my eyebrows. <laughs> Sh shut up. Looks like you're improving a bit. Olivia bonks the umbrella, making it splash a bit onto me. <laughs> Hey! Anyway, let me keep telling you my tragic backstory. <laughs> Olivia stretches her arms. Da, da, da. Things go quiet again. Olivia finally breaks the silence. I know you say you forgive me and all, but I still feel like shit for putting you through all this. Like, <laughs> as I should. Now everyone's going to expect you to be skilled at painting. <laughs> oh, are we going to have a shenanigan where we keep up this lie for the rest of the year? Is it going to be hijinks? <laughs> Yeah, he can't see anything without his sunglasses. Even in a dark room, he needs sunglasses. They'll call you a fraud. Oh, yeah, I was trying to not to think about that. What if I just start, you know, throwing paint all over the canvases like ja Jackson Pollock and, and make everybody think I'm brilliant? Damn it, it's all my fault. Olivia rests her arms over her knees, and I'm surprised if she manages to bury her long snout in them. An idea hits me. What if you taught me for real? Really? I'm just gonna learn to paint to keep up this lie? <laughs> Olivia raises her head from her arms. Taught you? Painting. For real. I will give up photography for you, Olivia. It's like you say, I have expectations to fulfill. My phone is beeping at me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> Will you teach me how to paint like you do? I don't know. Tell you what, I'll forgive you if you teach me. You already said that. You already forgave me. You know, no takesy backsies. Olivia looks down in contemplation. All right, I'll teach you how to paint. But you should know I'm a lousy teacher. You've seen my work in class. I'm a lousy student. <laughs> I got a feeling I'd work out. I <laughs> like you, Inko. <laughs> Don't make it weird. Hey, Professor Halford. Yes, Professor Halford. No, oh, don't don't call me that. That's that's doing things to me, Inko. <laughs> that's doing things to me. I chuckle as I'm playfully shoved by her. After that, after everything was said and done, things became quiet. Beneath the solace of my umbrella, we relaxed together. At least until ob Oblivia, <laughs> Olivia, begins shifting uncomfortably. I sit and watch as she takes her calves and shifts them to her side with one hand. Her tail comes around and presses into the paper-filled floor before her, keeping her upright as she starts to lean forward. Oh yeah, she could use her tail as like an extra limb to like get herself up, couldn't she? That makes sense. See, that's the thing. I like when you have like non-human characters that have like tails and wings and stuff, and the artists actually like make them use those appendages like they naturally would if they had them, you know, instead of just being there. <laughs> I commend that. Finally, with a string of her tail and one arm, Olivia lifts her hips from the floor and swings her shins fully beneath her. She smiles as she kneels over me. Ooh, oh, 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 am I, am I gonna hug that gator? Am I gonna hug that gator? Is it happening? You just gonna sit there? Help me up, stupid. Crap, I guess I was gawking stupidly directly at her boobs. <laughs> Probably. But it's just so fascinating seeing the girl maneuver herself in these odd yet well-practiced ways. Gets the, gets the mind going. I'm kind of jealous, actually. I wish I had a tail to do some of the things she could. Oh, the things I could do with a tail. <laughs> I could see student teacher roleplay in their future. Oh, God. <laughs> I shouldn't have made that joke. <laughs> I press my hands down on the floor and push myself up. I don't know why I had thought to stand, but instead I shifted myself to a kneeling position, too. So now they're kneeling facing each other. <laughs> like a couple of fucking weirdos in the rain. <laughs> okay. We're face to face now. Ah! I'm hugging that gator! We did it, boys! We did it! Game over! I hugged the gator! We can stop here! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For a split second, I feared the worst as Oblivia, Olivia drew me into a hug. I thought she was gonna eat me! 
I don't know what she would do, but this. I like this. For how strong her arms are, how they're wrapped around my chest feels exceptionally tender. My own arms have enveloped her, returning the embrace in a similarly soft way. As her arms loosen, I draw back, though I don't want to take my hands off her. That was nice. I've never been hugged before. <laughs> my parents never hugged me. Yeah, roll credits. Don't make it weird. Everyone gets one and go. <laughs> That's it. Um, sorry about that. I, I shall be a gentleman. Ooh, the sound of rainfall hitting the umbrella. My ears suddenly pick up the noise of what sounds like squeaking. Are the rats here? The rats are real. I'm just looking at chat right now. Yeah. <laughs> With these sunglasses, I can never tell what I'm looking at. Stares obviously at her boobs. <laughs> I mean, she was kneeling in front of a baby. Uh, I look down to see there's something shuffling in Olivia's pocket. Wait, is it actually a rat? <laughs> A little piece emerges from its hiding spot with a squeaky yawn to which Olivia offers her hand to use as a platform. I knew it! She never bathes! She never bathes so much she's full of rats! It's so attractive! Hey there, little guy. Nearly forgot about you. Had a nice nap. Hope we didn't fucking crush you while we were climbing all over each other and hugging. Yeah, right? That's a rat. Oh, right. You two haven't met each other. Inko, this is Guts. I named him after my favorite manga character. <laughs> Olivia reads Berserk. <laughs> Guts meet Inko. I have another one called Griffin. <laughs> that one's white. <clears throat> oh, hi, Guts. I awkwardly wave at the apprehensive-looking rodent, so you're not one of those speaking animals, right? You're just an animal animal? I don't know how this world works. Aww. Front-facing Olivia is a little cursed. Um, <laughs> it's just a little cursed, but the rat is cute. Olivia lifts guts onto her shoulder gracefully like her hand is an elevator for him. You brought him to school? I caught him at school. The school is full of rats in code, didn't you know? That's why there's an auditor coming and coming. <laughs> well, yeah, I just really needed him today since, you know, all the crap that's happened. Oh, he's a, he's a comfort animal. I have heard that rats make very good pets. They are very cute. Uh, unfortunately, I always have cats, so I've never had a rodent for a pet. I'm a little afraid to. <laughs> I guess Guts a few scratches under his chin. I bring him sometimes when things get rough, you know, so I can just, you know, rub his little head <laughs> to relax. And nobody noticed? You haven't. Ah, oh, touche. I'm not, I'm not a very observant man, though, Olivia. <laughs> Eidekin did once. He just told me not to let him run around the school. Otherwise, it would be considered a health hazard or something. You know, he's like a domesticated one. A tardy bell rings out in the distance. We're late for our next classes. Who cares? I got the hug that gator! Apes and reptiles are the only intelligent creatures in this world. Are we sure, though? Are we sure it's not, like, some other... I don't know. I'm sure Idekin will understand. Idekin does not give a fuck about anything. We should probably get back to class. Here, hold this! It's dangerous to go alone and take this! I give Olivia the umbrella so she and the rat can stay dry while I fetch the wheelchair. One more CG and end scene? Okay. That's where we'll stop, then. I usually end up going to 10 o'clock. Hey! I, oh! I got an achievement! I got an achievement! I did the thing! <laughs> it said you did the thing! That's why they just added achievements to this game. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, now it's settled into some mud. This wheelchair has definitely seen better days. It's probably all rusted and, and useless now, but... After dusting off the dirt and pulling water the best I can, I make my way back. How do you dust off water and mud? Inko. Thanks. He offers the umbrella back, but I make sure to hold it above her. I keep the wheelchair steady with one hand as Olivia climbs into the seat, using her tail to help herself up. I'm a gentleman! <clears throat> Aw, look how cute she looks there. Let's get the whole image. She looks so cute. <laughs> she looks happy. I guess we made the right decisions, guys. <laughs> we stand in the rain and silence for a moment, only sharing uh, content glances. So, what do we do about the contest now? 
That's a good question. We could we could really make this into like a senior prank or something, Olivia. Let's, let's go all the way. Ben was there when he saw my name on the painting. He already went to tell someone. I already told him it wasn't mine, so uh, there's that. But like you said, no harm, no foul. What about your own submission? I ruined it. I scratched the back of my head. I wouldn't have won anyway. It's just a picture. I am now giving up photography for you, my painter waifu. Oh. I thought it was pretty okay. I mean, I don't really understand photography, but... Hearing those words from Olivia spreads a strange flash of heat to my face. My waifu likes my photos! <laughs> it's not unpleasant, but again, those honest words from her really do cut through me for some reason. Thanks! A loud squeak draws my eyes to guts as he stands on top of Olivia's shoulder. Uh, you too? A wry smile stretches across Olivia's face. Hmm, I think Guts is saying he act it's actually so-so. He's a real critic. Hey! Cut him some slack, Guts. Inko doesn't have any time to make anything for the contest. He's got some high standards. Yep, that's why I've, that's why I've gotten so good. The sheer absurdity of it. Ha ha, I laugh. I don't know which one of us broke first, but our laughter fills the air. Heard only, only by us as the rainfall cuts off all other noise. So, uh, now what? I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. I don't want to go yet. Still pretty, well, still pretty worn out. <laughs> Doing both voices at once. Still pretty worn out. Worn out. A smile crosses my face as a wicked idea comes to mind. Well, too bad. What? I walk around behind Olivia, grinning like a mad idiot. Inko, what are you doing? Inko! Inko! Her head tries to follow me as I stand right behind her chair. I figure that pushing her chair around is really tiring, so how about I help you out? I'm a gentleman! Olivia blushes and looks away. <clears throat> Fine, but just for today, Babaka. Running to the campus was certainly awkward. A passerby, passerby shoot us looks. It's not the most common scene to see a girl in a wheelchair just roll on, roll on in a sopping wet and tracking mud in. Also with a human man behind her pushing it. <laughs> More likely though, is because said girl had taken to using my umbrella to hide herself from those looks. She was already extremely red in her face. It was a conundrum. I drop the umbrella and let people see her, or keep it up and draw more attention. Hmm. I shall name it the Nito Theorem. <laughs> okay. Okay, Inko. Okay, Inko. You discovered this. You discovered this uh, paradox of of sentient behavior. <laughs> I was gonna say human behavior, but she's not human. <clears throat> she's gonna kill me if I ever attempt to publish it. By making her way back to Olivia's current class, she simply shook her concealed head. <laughs> I didn't really have much of a choice. From all that I knew of the girl, her last classes were all, all, all the upper levels. Blah, blah, blah. So she was in possession of the elevator key. That was in possession of the weakest knees here at St. Hammond, at least according to Coach Sully. <laughs> I don't know, I guess he, he just offered and she said okay. So I willed her to my current photography class. No, oh, it's, it's the same shot. We're gonna pretend that the, the floor is different. On the way over, she keeps bending her head back to peek at me. It's so adorable. Like she's making sure I'm still there. How else would she think her chair is moving, though? <laughs> Knocking on his closed door, the terrorist or professor didn't even bat an eye at the poorly hidden girl. I simply stepped a, He simply stepped aside to let us through. Ben was looking our way, but I chose to pay him no mind. My friendship has ended with Ben! Romance track with Olivia obtained! <laughs> After everything I heard, Olivia didn't even register he was there. Good. She simply rolled herself to the back of the classroom through a door into what I'd always guessed was Idakin's supply closet. You know what? I'm an idiot. It's a dark room, isn't it? There's been a dark room here this entire time and I did not know? Yeah. Inko, meet guts, my emergency food. <laughs> uh, this is like only a little intermission. I'm gonna have to find a stopping point. So... All right. Should we stop here? This might be a good place to stop then. So I'm gonna save before I get too far into it. Make sure we save it over that one. All right, that's a good place to stop because I've been going for like three hours. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a slow reader and you've seen I, I go on tangents and interrupt to talk to chat. So it takes me, it takes me a bit, but so, this will probably end up being like 12 fucking videos by the end. But, yeah, I, we, we will continue to be doing this weekly until I'm done with it. 
All right. Well, thank you everyone for coming and joining me on, on whatever this was. <laughs> For anyone who just uh, joined my stream for the first time, I do do a uh, art drawing stream on Wednesdays, usually at 2 p.m. That's usually when I just draw stuff and ramble, though this week, next week rather, I am going to be reacting to Lily Orchard's other Has Been Hotel video that just came out. So, because people really like it when I react to Lily Orchard, that's basically how I started my channel. <laughs> That's how I became a YouTuber by accident, basically, entirely. So, um... But I will be doing more gaming streams going forward as well. So after we're done with uh, Wani Hug That Gator, I'll, I'll probably throw you guys a poll of uh, other things I've been thinking of playing on stream. Though I'm really leaning towards Soma right now. I want to introduce a bunch of people to that. I think it'll be fun to have a chat full of people who aren't familiar with it. And then those of us who are in the know just keep quiet and let them, let them experience it. <laughs> Your Twitter following list jumped by 1k last week because of Wani. Well, it's gonna jump again, Kaiser, because I put your art in a, in a, in a short that's going out tomorrow. You'll, I'll send it to you when it's out. <laughs> I already have it scheduled. I'm getting good at this YouTube thing. <laughs> anyway, so thank you all for coming. Uh, give me a follow if you want to see more next week, more of my, my stupid voices for this game. I am enjoying this game, though. As, as I said before, as much as I make fun of it, I do appreciate the, the love that was put into it. And it's very fun, and it's genuinely very funny. <laughs> anyway, talk to you guys later.